For years I've had to be content as a tentacle-loving weeb. And to your credit, Nick, you made a good partner. But Tally, <clears throat> French kiss, Tally and the kitty litter, they have freed me from your shitter shackles. You sullied the names of the weebs when you lost Chalice, and now I've found new partners, sexual partners, feline partners, rawr. But they will never be enough. I require more. 50% of each stray, each tabby, each cat lost in a vapid realm of internet memory. They shall all join my kitty litter, and together we shall restore balance to this planet. Today, on your left. I am the luckiest Nick in the entire multiverse. Howdy, Nick. We've come from the G'day Nicomatic Universe to help you defeat Tri. Boy howdy, it's time for SummerSlam! Today, Nix? Let's dice him. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for SummerSlam, and we're gonna get right into the ring. No more pop and circumstance. We've got the Nickomatic Universe taking on Trifidic and the Kitty Litter, and it's no holds barred. Anything goes. Three on three action with all the swirling melee outside of the arena. Welcome to SummerSlam. Hello to my commentary partners, Jimmy Ventura and Rick Shivani. How we doing? Hello, Squirrel. Oh, my goodness. But forget the lazy trope. This is the biggest party of the summer. This is existence on the line. This is everything. This is the universe right here. JFW, like we've never seen before. And if Tri wins, maybe never want to see again. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. Absolutely. Everything is at stake here. Every cat anus on the planet <laughs> at risk of Tri's seductions. I mean... The stakes couldn't be higher, folks. Jimmy, what, what do you got for us? I've got nothing left. <laughs> That's about what I expected. <laughs> Welcome to SummerSlam, folks. We've got a hell of a show for you, assuming we don't get snapped out of existence here by Try and the Kitty Litter. <laughs> My goodness me, you, you, you thought the NWO was big. Like, Try and the Kitty Litter, this has got to be the largest wrestling stable in, in, uh, in, stable in, in wrestling history. Unbelievable forces at play here. But somehow, Gadanik has found a way to answer it. Um, you know, spending time and space, I guess, and, and producing various universe copies of himself to, to fight off the might. And uh, oh, at the moment, though, they're kind of struggling here, Gorilla. 
They, they are. I mean, they are up against the odds. You saw it. We, they took that targeted strike. You know, Howdy Nick is, uh, he's had a rough couple weeks, but then joined by a classic uh, from another dimension, Zombie Nick, and then this newcomer, the luckiest man in the universe, they call him, the Muck Lucker written on his shirt. He could just be the key to winning this all, but let's see what they've got here. It's not looking good at all. They're getting dominated by Try and the Kitty Litter. They, they are, and honestly, I'm, I'm really worried because our very existence, as we know it, is on the line. We need the Gdanix to win, but I tell you what, if there's one man that I want to put my existence in the hands of, it is Gdanix. <laughs> Reasonable, absolutely reasonable. He, you know, unless it's, uh, you know, unless it's winning the SFL three times, he will always get it done. He's only a two-time SFL winner. That's the second best in the universe, though. Pretty good. Sheesh, th this is really one-sided. Double hurricane runners from the kitties. Oh, oh big miss there by Tally, though. And now maybe the Knicks can reset things. Oh, straight in try, small package. <laughs> and now look at this, two nicks on one try. I saw that in a porno once. <laughs> oh, yep, getting him from both sides. Yep. Well, tally in for the save, though. Look out, howdy, Nick. Oh. Oh, Tally clearing the ring almost. Oh, Coming no. to the aid of her... Uh, Oh my lover, God. And now look at this. The kitty litter have just cleared the ring and times are looking dark, folks. Try lay on the canvas waiting for them. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised it didn't get him up, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, they did. <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah, it's just you, you can't tell because of Try's small of, package. He's been up for a while. <laughs> oh, no. Belly to bellies. Oh, no. Oh no! Oh no! I now have the power of the Infinity Stones we never mentioned once previously, but trust me, this is the end game. I do not like Good day, Nick. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, six me. Believe it, he's done it. Nick has done it. Howdy, Nick has saved the universe from Try. And we got no other outro for that one, so we got to keep this fucking show going, folks. Oh, my goodness. Thank goodness for that. I, I yeah. thought we were all done, but uh, somehow, someway, once again, Nick existing through the impossible. Whoa. Oh, wow. How, well, can we, we got... how can we top that? I wouldn't want to go on after that. No, I don't know, right? But... <laughs> Unfortunately, unfortunately for Jimmy Fantastic, not only has he got to follow that, he's got to try and find a tag partner to take on Jimmy, uh, to take on Jimmy, to take on Table Leg Wanger and his wife, who is making uh, an impact in the tag division. There you go. How exciting Absol is that? Ab absolutely. The Wangers ditching Jimmy from the old glorious ones have given him the opportunity to find a partner. Doesn't look like he's done it. Looks like we're going to get a handicap match here. Jimmy Fantastic versus the Wangers next. Let's get to ringside. Cl classically overconfident Jimmy. <laughs> and I don't know if it's Table Leg Wanger and his wife. She dominated on Claw. I think it's Mrs. Wanger and her husband. <laughs> fair, fair. Yeah, reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> well, what an entrance for these two and uh you know I, i'm very familiar with mrs wanger she was the top of uh top of the the stand firm women's division for a very long time 
Uh, and now, obviously, seizing the opportunity once intergender wrestling became a thing across the JFW and went to join her husband, Table Leg, on Claw. And uh, pretty formidable tag team, of course. The, the fallout, I guess, or the failings of the glorious ones in that tag tournament means no titles for them immediately. But a big win here surely would get them in the right direction to maybe put gold around uh, both Langer's waists. Yep. Yeah, absolutely, Gorilla. They, they already got off to a great start on Claw, but unfinished business here. There have been trouble in Paradise for a long time between Jimmy and Table Egg, and it all came to a head, as we've seen. And uh, Jimmy's had his head turned, hasn't he? He's been turning up on your show. Yeah, well, of course, he won that money in the ass contract, and he's, uh, you know, he, he, he has targeted JBG in the World Heavyweight Championship. And it really uh, took a toll. It took a toll on his tag uh, success. I do feel it's all gone to his head. Just oh, oh hang wait, on. Wait a second. Glorious. Well, it looks like Jimmy Fantastic has found himself a partner, and that is going to be Tren, another of the uh, former Stan Firm women's division, a top person until kind of getting evicted by Moon Sandwich. Looks like she's making her way over to Claw as well, and I better start uh, having a little chat with Mr. Jim McMahon about uh, how trades work, because right now he's just poaching talent. <laughs> Goodness me, Tren and Mrs. Wanger reigniting their rivalry from just a few months ago. And uh, wow, this is, talk about a, a bitter battle, a bitter rivalry. It, it doesn't get any worse than this. Absolutely yep. not. But this sure does uh, increase Jimmy's odds of getting one back on Wanger here. Uh, this is a very even matchup. Of course, Tren and Mrs. Wanger had a huge feud on stand firm for months they are uh, very used to each other and then you know you don't get any closer than uh than jim and wang or... <laughs> couldn't, couldn't agree more <laughs> jimmy's equity has gone through the roof oh and the flying Ooh. shoulder tackle immediately out the gate leveling wanger oh. And uh, yeah, this is a fired up gym right now. If he is, if he has been distracted by that money in the S contract, you're not seeing it in his focus here. He knows he cannot take the table leg wanger for granted. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking when he was gonna come out by himself and it had all gone to his head. He was getting overconfident. He was too focused on the singles competition, but no, he had us all fooled. Um, and, and here he is with Trey, an amazing pick to be his tag team partner. Now, they are both idiots, uh, Gorilla. I don't know if you knew, uh, but, but how, how do you think that affects them as a tag team? I, 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 I don't. I don't think it matters when they play in their off time. <laughs> Well, you know, hopefully, hopefully it's built a, a little bit of camaraderie between them, and uh, maybe they're going to function a little bit quicker. I, I a, haven't watched a, a lot of the machine. five idiots, but uh, but uh, but uh, cohesion is not what I've uh, expected from that party. <laughs> That's true. Tread has been Fair a bit enough. of a loose Fair cannon. <laughs> well, I, I can also tell you that marriage is no guarantee of cohesion, <laughs> so uh, so it might be fairly even on that front as well. Well, oh, Trent God, that's a dangerous taunt, here. isn't it? I've just realized. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and here we go. Old rivals renewed. No, oh, Mrs. Wanger right in with that running kick. Oh, dear. Yeah, she can get a few hits in, though, but the, uh, the potato driver has put away Mrs. Wanger a number of times in the past. I wouldn't be surprised if ultimately we see that tonight as well. Very likely. <laughs> but uh, Mrs. Wanger feeling it right now, mocking Trent. Trent's got a couple inches on her there. Mrs. Yep. Wanger, though, the, uh, the more experienced in the grappling. <laughs> and 
And uh, this is, of course, uh, buses versus trains as well, also. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Try, you're dust. You're not allowed to talk for the rest of the show. We should, ban, we should ban Try for effect. For, for kayfabe. Oh, my God! We, we've got an instant terminus. A terminus right here to trend, and that's going to be all over if Jimmy can't break this pin up. Yeah, I really hope Jimmy's on his toes here. Come on, Jimmy. Oh my God, he's not doing it. Wow. Oof. Arguing with the ref. Again, Jimmy trying to be pretty conservative here, maybe with his energy. Again, he's got a big night plan. We've we've seen all the signs. Maybe maybe he's worried. If he gets in the ring to break up a pin, he knows that Wang is going to be on him. Yeah. Yeah, nobody we wants saw Wang, Wang on him. We, yeah, well, we saw, we saw Wanger on him a, a week or two ago backstage when he tried to do an ambush at uh at stan firm could have could have cost him you know wanger in the in the arena that does have to weigh on jim's mind putting him away in this match would be a surefire way to uh to build up his chances for later tonight yep. back and forth between these two competitors but it's right next to jimmy yeah that's uh oh, oh potato bro. driver this Here could be it go Potato right drive. in the corner, like I said. Even if Wenger tries to save this, he might not be able to. Whoosh. She going in for the pin. She is, and here comes no table not coming in. Wow. Oh! oh! Oh my good lord! <laughs> that might be the latest kickout I have ever seen. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I entirely agree. Holy <laughs> crap! Thought it was over there. Oh my god. Oh, Mrs. Wanger desperately over and over again trying to tag in her husband, but uh, Jimmy and Trent doing a great job of cutting that off. Oh, nice counter there by Wanger, and she does get the tag in to table leg. Wanger can't stay caught off forever. That's more of an American thing. <laughs> Oh, you can uh, you can see the hate in the eyes and the actions of Table Leg here. Oh my God! What a contentious pairing these two or, or friendship these two have had throughout the years in the JFW. They've either been the best or the worst at, at any given moment, and it's usually whether there's a title between them or not. No <laughs> titles tonight, though. Just uh, raw raw emotion and. Uh, and, and anger, I think Table Leg feeling a little betrayed by Jimmy's uh, uh, targeting of uh, of Stan Firm's title, the World Heavyweight Championship, but he's cutting off the tag here. He wants to inflict tons of pain to Jimmy Fantastic, and look out. Oh, he's going for the DDT. Jimmy hammering away to get out of it. Oh. How could you not feel betrayed? Supposed to have been your friend for decades. You've tagged together. Oh, Fantastic Splash coming in. Oh, this could be it. He's put away a lot of people with the Fantastic Splash. But oh. he's put away more with the Jim Bottom. And here it comes. Good night, Table Leg Wanger. Thanks for playing. I think Jimmy's going to get one up on this one. Oh, and everyone's coming in now. Oh, Trent gets Mrs. Oh, Wanger, but oh, somehow Table Trent Leg got the X out. Factor. Oh, and somehow Wanger kicked out. Now Trent, a little extracurricular activities, stand, standing him up very violently and then walking out of the <laughs> ring. Oh, multiple clotheslines from Jimmy and no Mrs. Wanger in sight. Table Leg in all sorts of trouble. But yeah, you, you'd have to feel betrayed. Jimmy just turning his back without a word on Table Leg, leaving him in the Oh, oh look at the contention! Look at the <laughs> frustration! My word! Oh my god. Wang Wanger with no mercy there, just going in for the dirty shot, knew the ref didn't care. And now that could be the end to Jimmy Fantastic. The trend's right there though. Oh, didn't, didn't have Trent to. didn't even need to do anything. Jimmy somehow kicking out of that. <laughs> I, I think she may have handed him a potato. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just just brought him around slightly there. Oh, oh my wow. word, Jimmy going for oh, a God. ride. His head's going to be a baked potato in a second. Good Lord. Oh, my God. Hello, Night Demon. You missed the intro. You better go back and watch that VOD, buddy. <laughs> yep. Oh, my goodness. I hope Night Demon watched Friday Night Stand Firm because his performance was immaculate. It was pretty good. Not good enough to get him a spot on the card tonight.
but glad to have him in the audience. Yes, oh snap, uh, interesting choice of words. <laughs> oh, brilliant whip to the outside from Jimmy. How many feet of concrete tonight, Jim? Shut up, Jay Vazza. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my I god! I said what I said. I, I guess I guess zero, right? The the, the arena has been pretty much leveled, so uh, we're just building, <laughs> we've had to hastily yeah. erect it on on the on the rubble. <laughs> Unbelievable! Oh my god! Oh, switching oh, music! Oh, out of nowhere! This is like a I oh. kicks out again. All these late kickouts. The drama unfolding in this match. We thought this was going to be a, a bathroom break kind of match after the intro, but no, they're putting on a hell of a show here, but Jim's got to be careful. Uh, every second that ticks by in this match is a second off of his ability to win a title later tonight if he does cash in that money in the ass. And, and being busted open isn't going to help at all either, is it? Trend got taken out there in the background by Mrs. Wanger, so Jim in a bit of trouble, although thankfully in control just at this moment. Yep. Oh, he's going in for that neck massage. Very violent. <laughs> We've seen it in matches before. Another Jim oh Bonham. Oh my goodness, oh. Jim Bonham, but Mrs. Wenger is right behind him. Yeah, another Jim Bonham. He's got him, but can he get the three count? It's going to be a little tough with Mrs. Oh, Wenger there. Oh, this is there. smart from Jim. She might not have time. Well, Tren is nowhere to be found. Oh, so close. Even she waited to the last second to get the save there. Jim, furious, backs out of the ring for a breather, but then goes right back in to go after, oh, after Table Leg, who DDTs him, and that could be a difference maker. Jim took too long. Gave Table Leg that time to recover. Jim hung out to dry on the top rope, and Table Leg is gonna get the tag in. Oh my god! I I can smell a terminus coming. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Look at the blood searing down the face of Jimmy now. Oh no! Boy, this is looking real bad for Jim now. Sure is that kick to the back of the head and another to the neck there, and then right in front of Trent, right in front of Tan Trent with that arm bar. Does Jim have anything left? Again, you think a quick tap out when he got that move on, and you know what his plans for later tonight are. Again. He's got to spare himself again, again. Gotta be. <sighs> no, he hangs on again. After the effort they've put in, Jim wants to get out of this one with the win, and I, I, I can understand why. Wow, counter clothesline for G. He doesn't know where he's going. He accidentally went towards Wanger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he's been tagging him for a long time now, so. That, that is true. That's a really good point, Gorilla. <laughs> oh, Trent go. catches the leg. She is the freshest person in the matchup right now. Sure is, and, and you're seeing why. Monkey flip there, Trent's feeling it. Needs to stay on Mrs. Wenger. We've seen her before, lose focus in matches. And oh, again, oh, oh, oh goodness, no, I thought she, she does was gonna get a hot tag. She does sweep the leg. Yeah, I, oh, she, she is, is gonna getting get the, the tag. tag. And look out, here comes Table Leg Wanger. I don't know how smart that is though. He's, he's taken more punishment than Mrs. Wenger. Oh, well, he's going to take a little bit more here. Trent's going to try to potato drop him. Oh, she gets him up. No. Oh, power potato drop. It's all over. Just got to get that pin and get a little bit of help from Jim. Everyone's in. Oh, no. Oh, Jim, Jim missed. Jim misfired. He's still having depth perception problems there. <laughs> and Mrs. Wang are able to break up that pin and gets a parting shot on Jim, who is completely lost in the ring right now. I think now. he's concussed, yeah, maybe. Tre yeah, I think, he, I think he has been concussed, and that's great news for JBG, if that's the case. <laughs> never want to cheer for a head injury, but, you know, JBG's got to face off with Timmy G and Frostlord already tonight. Doesn't want to have to worry about Jim, too. Table leg. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> He was playing possum, I guess. <laughs> Just to 
show off with a backflip. <laughs> that was Shades of Five Idiots there. Amazing. <laughs> 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 right, Trent uh, whipping Mrs. Wanger over towards Jimmy. This could be the tag. It is. Oh, big oh, move no. coming here, I think. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, oh no, why is it a blind tag? tag? I didn't even see the blind tag. I Neither guess that's time. why they call it a blind tag. Yeah. Oh, this is bad for Jim. He didn't see it either into that running power slam. And that is a big power move that could put you out. Oh, no. Sharp He's going shooter. for the sharpshooter. Sharp oh. He's going for the sharpshooter on Jim. Is Jim going to tap? Is he going to tap? Be it. Yes, he's, he's going. He's going. He's going. Taps. Wanger taps out Jim. And the Wangers have gotten the win in this grudge match. Oh, man. Well, that's got to feel great if you're a Wanger. <laughs> and oh, my goodness. Jim tonight might want to cash in. He's going to be in absolutely no state whatsoever. Yeah, I think I think if I'm JBG right now, I'm t I'm exhaling, re breathing a big sigh of relief. Unbelievable stuff! What a match! We thought this one was going to be a throwaway, and it turned into a wild one. Of course, more tag team action coming up later. The winners of the tag team tournament on Claw, the Ninja Turtles, taking on the Scousers for the titles. But whoever wins that match, oh my god, wanger your shoulder. <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh dear. <laughs> whoever wins that tag team title match later might have to look out for these two. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've me. seen it twice now that there's definite tag team chemistry as well, of course, as their romantic <laughs> chemistry. These two are going to be uh, challenging for the titles anytime soon, I'm sure. Whew. Unbelievable, Jeff. <sighs> well, there you go. Uh, now it's time for the Wemmed Up Trios, uh, if you want to oh explain boy, this yep. We've got a two-part match for the Wemmed Dope title. Of course, the Wemmed Dope title is shared between Claw and Stan Firm. Whoever wins it at the pay-per-view gets it for the month. And right now, Stan Firm has had it for two months and uh, looking to make it three here. And we're going to do a trios match first. Three from Stan Firm, three from Claw facing off each other. Whichever team wins that, those three members will enter into a fatal four-way against Cocky. Uh, excuse me, a fatal four-way TLC match against Cocky to win the Wem Dope Championship. Oh, baby. I, I love how we've got Stan Firm first on the SummerSlam poster here, as, you know, to try and help it out a little bit. <laughs> it's um, alphabetical. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, fair. The, the background's yeah. blue and red, so it may, maybe it was just done to match. <laughs> right. Let, let's get to ringside. <laughs> oh, boy. And there it is, our first entrant from Claw. It's Rick Reckless. Oh, and he's joined by Physics. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and Goliath. What a trio of power that is. Wow. I tell you what, I am delighted because I have been waiting and waiting to have the Wemdope title back on Monday Night Claw. And I can pretty much guarantee you that that is about to happen. Look at well, these three walking down to the ring, baby. Oh Why God. don't you wait until you see who I pick for our trio? Because I tell you, I have an ace squad coming in for this one uh, to, to defend, as it were, the title for Stan Firm. Well, good luck, Gorilla. <laughs> Holy moly, yeah. what a team. Yeah, I didn't know I didn't know who Jimps was picking, and I am shaking in my boots a little bit on this one now. <laughs> I, I think this goes to show just how well Jimps McMahon did in that draft so many weeks ago. Yeah. Jimmy's already in a title match, Jack. Well, he could do double duty, you know. It'd probably be about as successful as his forward rolls, but he could. <laughs> <laughs> Monday Night Claw with both the main eventers from WrestleMania early in the year representing here. 
Yeah, incredible. Incredible. Yeah, team. but you know what they don't have, my friend? They don't have a single SFL title to their name. And there's three of them walking out there also with Fault Force and Flicky Flack. It's Scaramezzo and Team Stanford. Hmm. These three have been the de facto leaders of three of the most active trios in, uh, trios and tag teams, I should say, in Flicky's case, but they're a trio now. Uh, on stand firm, you know, we do more trios matches. We're more used to the format. We might not have the prestige that that other trio has, uh, you know, main event wise, but I think we can pull this one off. You know what, fair play, Gorilla. While you were away, um, Full Force was the Wendok champion. He was actually awesome through that era. Flicky, of course, tag team champion, along with his good friend Store. And uh, and we don't need to say any more about Skurametso. Former um, world he is champion. A phenomenon. And he the has been three, the X-Files world champion. Even if he I'm did just take gonna talk louder over you. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Great, great picks here, Gorilla. Hats off to you, man. And uh, yeah, this uh, th again, these trios, while they're going to have to get together in this match, they are then going to be enemies in a four-way TLC match later on tonight. So that could cause some friction. And here we go. Yeah, you think these two don't want to get their hands on each other again? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, while they are awesome trios and they will be motivated to uh, to work together, I don't think there's any going to be any love lost later on tonight. That's for sure. Absolutely team not. Win. Yeah. You put someone in a TLC match, and uh, any any former bonds go away real fast. <laughs> Starting off very technically, these two not either style. But uh, seeming uh, just trying to get a little bit of an edge, you know, again, in a trios match, you're always going to have someone available to break up the pin. It's really hard. Wearing someone down for submissions can be a surefire way to win a match, you know, a trios match. Let's not forget the extra arms belt passed back and forth between these two earlier this year. Some real bad blood immediately here. Absolutely. Oh, look at Rick's neck off of that DDT. And he's in trouble there. Skuro cutting off the tag. Physics coming in the ring definitely didn't tag. Yeah, ref sends him right back out. I saw the tag. That ref needs to get his eyesight checked. <laughs> Rick uh, trying to pull a little bit of a, a Jimmy Fantastic here on Skuro. <laughs> Pro probably is second only to Jimmy in the ability to kick out department. <laughs> yeah, it's a great spot. Skuro has lost a lot of wow. matches that he has dominated, that's for sure. Oh my goodness. Did not yeah, expect that team... from Goliath. <laughs> no, I think Team Stand Firm's best hope here is banging on the fact that they do more tag, tag team uh, and trios matches. We've got to wait for that mistake by all three of these uh, singles competitors maybe looking ahead at a, uh, at a ladder match or a TLC match. Mm. Oh, boy, it's time for the big guy. Well, there's a few big guys in this one. <laughs> oh, look out. Look at the power by Skrull. Oh. And up into that clothesline by Flicky. You know what? I'm just going to say it. This might be the one match I'd be okay seeing an old school in. <laughs> maybe. 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 <laughs> Anything to take your eyes away from fault from fault force. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, we caught him! Unbelievable! Wow! Nobody does that to Goliath Games. Wow! Flicky, flicky, flicky. Flicky, flicky, flicky. I'm I'm getting a little worried here, guys. Okay, here comes Goliath Games. <laughs> Stand firm, been fairly dominant until now. Oh, oh, Rick, yes! Oh, yes. dirty pool by Rick there. <laughs> Little extracurriculars. There are countouts in this match. They have to be aware, and trios matches end in a lot of countouts. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you might have called it, Gorilla. And if there is one guy that likes to wrestle 
in the fans. It is Goliath game. <laughs> oh yeah, this is looking this is looking bad for someone. Who's gonna get the edge though? Any any one of these uh, any one of these uh, these wrestlers would take a count out win here to get a cheap, quick win and then uh, focus on that TLC match later without expending too much energy. Wow, somehow Flicky going toe to toe, blow for oh, blow Flicky. with Goliath. No, he stopped. Flicky stopped. He was going in the ring and then he went back out after Goliath and that could. Oh no. We're at an eight count now. And Flicky is just getting battered. Oh, oh no. my god! Oh yes! Come on. Oh come on! Wait! What did he do? He flicked him! That stops the count! Oh there my. it is! There's that there's that tag team mistake made by Goliath. What a knucklehead! Oh Tags my in god. physics and resets the count on a surefire count out. I, I want us to check the rules manual because I've never heard that one before, Gorilla. Oh yeah, You're making absolutely. It up on the spot man. Once you become no, once you become the legal man outside of the ropes, that that is a new that is a reset count. I'm stunned. Oh uh, well, I'm not all that surprised that uh well we still might get our count out though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Flicky knows. Yeah, see, Flicky knows the deal. But it looks like Physics is able to get right back in and reset this match. Whew, that was a close call for both sides. Well, it's not a problem. Monday Night Claw is just going to have to win it twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. Pump Axe Handle Fall Away Slam. Blicky bringing out all the big guns tonight. Mm. Following up with a kick to the ass. <laughs> Classic. I'd like to point out. I'd like to point out. Fall Force might be the smartest man uh, in the arena right now. Hasn't tagged in once. <laughs> as long as Stand Firm wins, he'll be the freshest guy other than Cocky. Mm. Oh no! The flat cover. The flat cover. Physics, get oh, out of there! What a dominant performance by Flicky Flack. You can tell he wants it. <laughs> oh, hey, Goliath getting in early. Nope. <laughs> Goliath really, really, really needs to freshen up on the rules of tag team wrestling. Yeah, he's got the brain worms in him tonight. Two count Thankfully kick out. Actually distracting the ref long enough that uh, <laughs> it was only a two count. Guerrero tags in again. Again, Fall Force has not tagged <laughs> into this match. <laughs> And I've just got an update on Jimmy Fantastic's condition. Um, they're saying if if JFW had any medical personnel, they'd be looking at him, but uh, we don't. So, you know, he might have a concussion, but nobody knows. Okay, so your update is <laughs> we're assuming the, we're assuming exactly what we were assuming during the match. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I just thought it was funny to say we don't have any medical personnel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Rick right, getting the better go. of Skuro. Typical. Yeah, he loves to preen over a uh, beaten up Skuro. And, you know, fair enough. <laughs> oh, my word. Wouldn't, wouldn't we all? Oh, but the old in out from Skuro. Cut off by Rick. Skuro too Nicely quick. done. Nicely done by Skuro to get control there. Dropping him right on the ground. <laughs> Good job. There's no concrete. <laughs> yeah, would be in trouble. <laughs> Just a thin layer of rubble. <laughs> we've got we've got one Minecraft blocks worth of thickness of rubble. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the ring we go at only a four count that time. Oh, running knee there by Skuro to drop Rick Reckless. And we might be a pop-up powerbomb away here from Rick kicking out and hitting three finishers. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't think we're one finisher away from Rick I, losing. I, yeah, I realized the stupidity of what I had said halfway through Santa. Oh, oh, look out, though. Vader bomb by Skuro. Incredible. Oh, the good old no self Rick. Rick, though. He's all right. Classic. <laughs> Classic Literally Rick. No. Oh, no. Rick gonna fly. Nope. Nope. Oh. Oh, I think he... Yeah, he ran to the wrong corner there. Got confused. Skuro back on his feet. Oh, now where's no. Rick going? Oh, no. Passing his shoes. He's outsmarting Skuro. He's outsmarting Skuro. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 
know if that's outsmarting if you end up on the ground. <laughs> the three-man format really block. screwing Team Claw right now. Yeah. It's almost like the guy who booked that took that into account. Mm. I, I got to admit, this has not been what I wanted from Team Claw. Other than that clear count-out victory. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Friday night, stand firm. That sure was weird, wasn't it? <laughs> it really was, yeah. <laughs> all, all I know is it saved me hitting rematch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this won't, though. Baby, oh. baby. Say your press, girl. <laughs> yeah, I think this one might be done. He's a long way away from help, and here's the pin right in there with the pin. It's got to be it. No one coming. It's oh no, bro kicked out. Somehow, some way, Skiro kicks out. Oh, well, wow. oh dear. Oh, yes, yes. And right into another pin, but here comes Fall Force finally. No, he. <laughs> Fall Force has done literally nothing this fast. <laughs> it's hilarious, yeah. <laughs> Force is some sort of level 20 psychic. Yeah. <laughs> He's a level 20 dungeon master, isn't he? <laughs> well, got, got the oh. kick out from Skuro without actually touching him. And here's the oh. hot tag. Oh. Oh. He, he takes his he hand away. Flicky. Fully takes his hand away, so he tags Flicky. Amazing. <laughs> Skuro is cr crawling to the wrong corner there. He is done. And Flicky did not have the impact on the hot tag that you were looking for. <laughs> no. Now, Things could be turning here for, for Monday Night Claw. Oh my god, that was amazing. Oh! Oh baby, it's getting hot in here! <laughs> yep. Whoa. Oh my word. If, if Flicky had any sense to start with, he wouldn't anymore. Oh! <laughs> nice takedown, though, just to get anything going for himself. One of the oh. very, very few JFW superstars that can physically hold his own with Goliath, but look at the power of Goliath. Oh, yes! No, oh. oh, no. <laughs> Drop the elbow into the heart, and I think this one might be all but over here. If Fall Force doesn't get his act in gear and help out at all in this match. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the strength again though from Flicky has to be seen to be believed. Going to try and get the tap out. It's probably not going to happen with his foot under the rope like that. And yeah, he's able to get up anyway. Oof. Oh, backbreaker and Goliath. I think... Uh, I think he's getting ready to finish. Oh, oh yeah, awesome. there it is. That might be the finishing blow, driving that uh, that knee guard into his head there, cutting him open. Choking him out for good measure as well. Flicky in all sorts of trouble, and Rick's back in. Why physics is having to have a breather, I don't know. Tied out from standing there. <laughs> now, he got his ass kicked a little bit earlier, at least. Again, he's no fall force. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Peter Biscuit, champ in the house, glorious. Hey, PB. Oh, cheeky shot from Goliath Game! <laughs> oh, look wow. out! Counts Flicky! Counts Flicky. Oh, Flicky. Flicky. Oh, he's got him! Chokeslam! No, he counters out of the chokeslam! What a performance by Flicky in this one, but is it going to be enough? Got hung up on the ropes there. Pump handle... Ooh, pump handle slam. Oh my God. And finally gets control. Get no, he doesn't. He misses. <laughs> oh, he gets it back. And Flicky. Oh, old school? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go. That is how you disorient your opponent. Oh and he's busted him open. What a performance by Flicky Flack in this trio's match. But he's taken a lot of damage, and he's busted open himself. He needs to get out there, I think. And it's Rick that's going to be able to make the tag. Yeah, Fall Force is going to have to save this match if Stan Firm is going to advance. Oh. But I don't think that's on the menu right now if they can't even get over to that side of the ring here. 
Sidewalk slam. Oh, no, he wow, countered the sidewalk again. slam. Oh, here we go. Oh, you know what? I'll, you know what? I'll take it. It's the best you, move in pro. Fuck this move. I hate it. Fuck you, Flicky. I hope you lose. <laughs> I've been watching 1995 wrestling recently, and that is by far not the worst thing about it, I tell you right now. <laughs> Tags in Skuros. Fault Force has no interest in this match. <laughs> this is incredible. Skuros oh. about to die, I think. Yep. Now to the Oh, oh go up to the top oh, of no. Oh, no. Skuros going to die. Oh, Skuros going to oh, die. Oh, he's not going to die. Last second, Goliath's knees. That's why he wears those knee braces, I guess. Those missiles earlier had nothing on that. <laughs> it doesn't matter how fresh he is if he. Oh, Foley! Picks up Goliath! Oh, come on! Oh, 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 finally! Oh, Goliath's okay! Foley's oh. gonna pay, baby! That is oh, unwritten. Pick, picking his moment, I guess. Yeah, pick Pooley by the looks of it. Maybe he can get a count out by just convincing Goliath to beat him off outside of the ring. <laughs> oh, or no! maybe! Oh, oh no! Oh, Force oh, Force oh, baby. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Woo! Well, still not as egregious as that tag out earlier, but... <laughs> oh, the hot tag into Rick. Screw in all sorts of trouble now. <laughs> Come on, Rick! We need that title on floor, baby. What a maneuver. Yeah, you guys need that title on claw because the only other singles title on claw is just no! unattainable. <laughs> <laughs> UV's hands. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> Skurro with the counter here. Can he get anything going? I just don't see a world in which Skuro gets a pinfall victory over Rick in a trios match. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they could take out physics, yeah. there's no Goliath games. Yeah. Well, speaking of physics, he's about to tag in. Yes. Yeah. So some uh, some shows have wrestlers that know about tagging in tag team matches, Gorilla. <laughs> Oh, wow. oh, what a what a power bomb into a pin here! Oh my oh, God! Oh, oh, maybe he shouldn't have tagged him in. Holy crap! Physics takes one power bomb and is out. I guess that spear softened him up. Skuro with the pin. What a and shot! Folks, I hate that to admit means it. With, with, with doesn't know. We don't know. Save Gorilla. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know who's walking away with the title, but we do know it's going right back where it belongs on Friday. Stand firm. Oh, baby. TLC match later. This trio plus the champion cocky. That's going to be a wild one. Son of a gun. We, we didn't want the Wems Oak title anyway. Have you seen that thing? <laughs> <laughs> the prettiest belt in professional wrestling. Faulty carrying the team to victory. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Looking at these three, it might be the prettiest thing on Friday night stand firm. <laughs> yep. The rare match in which Skuro is not the one bleeding at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Oh, dear. All right, folks, it's time here. Uh, tried to book this one as early as I could uh, in, you know, in, in the frame of things to protect JBG from uh, the money in the ass cashing, but it is the JFW World Championship on the line. The champion JBG traditional triple threat match defending against uh, Frost Lord and Dimmy G. Of course, these three have all been kind of mixing it up over the last month, and it wasn't until after money in the ass where Jimmy staked his claim that things got a little bit hectic, but let's see what's in store for the World Heavyweight Championship. Bully howdy. Must have been Pepper Biscuits. That's what I was thinking. He, other than Cocky, he's going to be the freshest guy in that TLC match. I don't really fancy... Oh. Uh, his, wait. What's this? Oh, it's Bezel. Well, oh. Bezel and Pepper Biscuits have a main event match for the Extra Arms Belt Championship. Bezel, the only wrestler in the JFW with a win over PB. Why would PB confront him backstage like that? Oh, man. Oof. Oh. 
what could this mean for our main event? This doesn't seem good. Well, uh, yeah, I don't see a way in which this goes well for Bezel. What is this? Oh, my good Lord. What a way to pick someone up. Especially someone not wearing pants. Yeah, I know, right? Oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh this is going to get real ugly real fast for Bezel. I don't, I don't know why TV even felt he needed this. I guess he was a little insecure over the loss to Bezel a few weeks ago. But, he, I mean, maybe miracles can happen. Maybe Bezel can turn this one around backstage. He's doing all right right now. Yeah. Come on, Bezel. Be the hero that we need. <laughs> yeah, that's a good, <laughs> that's a good <laughs> point, Jean why, why the hell? Why the hell was Bezel in the changing rooms? <laughs> oh, putting his socks on, I guess. Yeah. The robe, don't forget the robe. Oh, yeah, the robe, yeah, of course. Oh, my God. What a maneuver. Wow, Bezel now, I think it's safe to say, somehow getting the best of this. Yeah. Does he just have Pepper Biscuit's number? He might, he must, I mean. There's a reason he's main eventing tonight at SummerSlam against this otherwise just unstoppable force of nature. Yeah. Like, like his kryptonite, inexplicably. <laughs> okay. Oh. Glorious. Glorious. Maybe, maybe not that effect. Oh, here we go. Another, another dick pickup. <laughs> I will defend. Oh, dear. I will defend. So, are we going to have to cut our World Championship match tonight, guys? Oh, my God. Oh, my uh, I mean, God, again? That, you know, I, I, would, I would say that sounds like a Jim McMahon problem, but this is a co-show. I mean, we can't possibly cancel our main event. We'll see. I guess we have to wait and see how this plays out, but it's not looking like it's going to play out well for Bezel now. <laughs> Cheers, JPG. I this pick-up. Pick <laughs> oh! <laughs> But that neck, wow. that neck snap suplex right through the uh, chair there. <sighs> Maybe Bezel in with a shot here to gotta fight be, gotta off be close. And yeah, no, I, I think these two should definitely go out and battle for the extra arms belt title later. But what I mean is time issues. This is supposed to be uh, the slot for the world championship match right now. Hmm. Well, I think I think seeing as it's oh, not no. Marcel, we'll we'll make we'll make time yeah. for it. Oh my God, D Demon Driver is oh. there, isn't it? Oh my, look at this! Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! He might have killed him in that corner there. Oh my oh, God! That was not pretty. Peppered biscuits, unnecessary attack on Bezel. Could have, must have been feeling insecure. He must be Tom Schnees. He sure doesn't look. Oh no, we're gonna have to get our not medical staff out there. <laughs> They're already busy not helping Jim. So yeah. Oh I don't my know what God. What happened with that one? Wow. Oh my God, that's horrendous. Well, look, let's let's get to ringside and, and on with the show, I guess. But wow, Bezel looks in a lot of trouble. Indeed. Goodness Here we sake. go. Come on, folks. find Ripper Dog. The following contest is a triple threat match. Well, it it and seems a while ago now, but Jimmy G was the world champion just over a year ago. Won it at uh, at Hell in a Cell. And he might have been the guy to lose it to JBG. JBG absolutely dominated that year with the world title while you were away, Gorilla. And no surprise to me that he's got his hands on it again. Yep. Can Dimmy be JFW champ as well as Blitzpit champ? <laughs> and and Quizpit. Quizpit uh, champ, no, no, sorry. Quizpit yeah. champ, right? Quiz, yeah, I meant Quizpit champ, yeah, sorry. Uh, underselling Jimmy Fantastic and his achievements there. Yes. <laughs> Well, he looks focused tonight. Of course, they have, uh, you know, he, he is hung with uh, with JBG and Frostlord, but he has taken his share of licks. Recently, Frostlord and him teaming up to get one over on JBG, but I don't think they'll be teaming up tonight. No. Jimmy won the world title 2021 at Hell in a Cell. Frostlord Army won it 
2022 at Hell in the Cell. And that's why he got drafted onto Friday Night Stand Firm. He was the champion. But uh, the unbelievably efficient JBG just finds a way to win every time, has subsequently taken it from him. Yep. Pardon me, I've got a little dog here. No, no, frustrated. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, here and here go. he is, the good boy of the JFW, and he's just as overpowered. You wouldn't think it, but uh, he has absolutely every tool that is necessary to get those wins. It's going to be a tough one tonight, though, Jim, against both Frostlord and Dimmy. Anyone could win this one. Yeah, this is, I mean, and plus it's first first pin as well, right? So JBG could lose the title without getting pinned. Uh, so that's that's really bad. No no champion's advantage at all in this match. That is, that is some bad news for Yorkshire tonight. Mm. And they've been softening him up for weeks. He might not be at 100%, and you might see them maybe team up at the start of this one. Might try and take him out first, effectively, and then turn on each other. Yeah. Well, he's, he's gone old school. He's got, he's got he's got the pride of Yorkshire, Sean Bean, on his back tonight. A special a special appearance for the Bean attire. Glorious. <laughs> well, I hope he's more successful than Sean Bean at surviving an entire movie. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he survived when Saturday comes, and he was the only one left alive at uh, the end of. Uh, Silent Hill, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a good twist, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, of all the people <laughs> in, in the world, it was Sean Bean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Frost Lord just letting Dimmy tee off on JBG. Good strategy. Yep. Oh, but there we go. Oh, but they've already turned. Oh! Pedigree! Pedigree instant! Wow. Sorry about that. Hungry dogs don't wait for. JBG uh, bamboozled! Oh my goodness, Gorilla, you nearly missed the entire match. <laughs> that was amazing. Nah, I think these guys have a little more longevity than that. Oh, look at this! Reverse choke slam here. Oh, no. And the power on display by Frostlord. Oh, oh the what cocky, a cocky pin. pin. <laughs> He's got a two count in the first ten seconds on Dimmy and JBG. Yeah. Frostlord came to play tonight. Self rock bottom though by Dimmy. Finally stops his momentum and here comes JBG. <laughs> oh, what a slap there by Frostlord. JBG not engaging instantly. Oh my gosh. Bouncing That's the first time that Dimmy's been slapped. I'll eat my hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not usually by a block though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a little hopeful there by JBG trying to steal a pin in front of Dimmy. A oh, reversal from JBG. That is the kind of brilliance that wins in the world title. What? He's done it. What? Oh, my goodness. Dimmy out of Good the cutter. ring. Good cutter Good coming. Cutter. It's over. Oh, Middle oh, of the yeah. ring here. The pin. No. Oh, oh my, my God. What? Two count. KO. Another one. Oh, my goodness. It's over. But here comes me. Dimmy. Dimmy has a chance. Oh, to he's counting. He counters it. Wow. Counters the good cutter. Wow. And Dimmy right back in the mix here. What what a start to this matchup. All three, well, particularly Frostlord and JBG, absolutely determined to get this one done. No messing around. No trying to wear down your opponent. Pulling out the big guns and trying to get the three count super early. Frosty looked like he was a bit lost there. Yeah. No, oh, Dimmy! Oh, look out! Chum Stratisfaction! <laughs> status. I thought it was a stats faction. No, Strat in it, Champ Strats. Oh, so it Champ is Strats. Stratisfaction, oh, yeah, it works perfectly. Yep. No, oh, look out though, Choke Slam. This isn't going to work perfectly for him. Oh, oh God. No. Oh, my good lord. <laughs> just took him off his feet with that, that, that meat fist. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm not seeing any abs on Dimmy. That one's going to hurt. 
Jesus. Ham knuckle. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but here we go. Big suplex into a pin. <sighs> Not even a two count. Oh my word, Frost Lord Army getting mad at Dimmy. Every single punch by Frost. Oh, he might tap him out oh. here with this bear hug. JBG oh, and, uh, has to ABG, break it up, yeah. JBG breaking it up by flailing wildly at it. <laughs> Taking a lessons from Dean Ambrose's offense by the looks of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, casually tossing JBG to the outside. But he realized it is. He realized it's not a false count anywhere match. So the oh, pedigree! The pedigree, JBG we'll could lose the title happen. here. Out of the I ring. I think so. That's it. Well, here comes JBG. He's gonna have to be quick. Oh, well, he's quicker than the ref. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Classic JFW refs, baby. <laughs> Woo. The determination from JBG, though, incredible. Rossler now Frosty. rolling out of the ring. One good cutter away from a retain. Oh, oh Jimmy took Dimmy. too long. Yeah, Dimmy, Dimmy, no stranger to being uh, <laughs> constantly thrown on his back by things in the evening, so. <laughs> <laughs> able to able to get it back, but not back after that spine buster. Frostlord standing tall, and I don't think there's much to stop him now from winning the world heavyweight title. Oh, Ooh. right in the kebab basket. <laughs> oh, but JBG! Oh, good bomb! JBG with the good bomb out of nowhere! Caught him off guard. I think Frostlord thought he was down, and here comes a pin! Jimmy yeah, doesn't he know is where out. he is! He's is done this it! it? Oh my god! He, is. he retains! How he does still he do it doesn't every know where he time. is after that spine buster. Oh, and DBG and Frostlord have failed yet again to take that title off of JPG. But folks, I don't know if Jimmy Kimantastic's conscious, but this is about that time you'd expect for him to come running down. Well, there honestly, we go. Would, would that make any sense? JBG has won this without barely breaking a sweat. Jimmy's possibly in A&E. &E. I don't know. I don't know that I'd say without a sweat, but yeah, I think you're right. Doesn't look like he's coming down as JBG celebrates wildly. Um, I'm pretty sure the sweat on JBG right now is just Dimmy's. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait oh. a second. What's going on? Oh, no, I think it's... Wait, that's... That's Night Demon. What's Night Demon doing here? Oh my god. Night top Demon the, the, the zombie from the top rope. Night Demon didn't have a match booked tonight, but wanted to make his presence known against the champ. I think he's staking his claim. And if you were Jimmy Fantastic and thinking about coming out, you surely aren't now. I wouldn't want to go anywhere near Night Demon, particularly when he's in this mood. Oh my god, roll through no, another zombie. Sorry, another one, the double zombie, three zombies oh. in short order to a guy that just had a hellacious triple threat match. And Night Demon staking his claim for the JFW World Heavyweight Championship. But speaking of championships, folks, we're getting right back in to tag team action with the two heads championships on the line. Of course, everyone knows the Scousers, but tell me a little bit about this tag team that has earned their spot. Uh, yeah, the, the Ninja Turtles, they, they came through, they won the, the tag team tournament that's been ongoing for a few weeks in, uh, in, on Monday Night Claw, and they, they've risen to the top of the, the, top of the pack somehow. Yeah, we, we've seen a, a few new teams on Monday Night Claw, but none as efficient and effective as the Ninja Turtles. These are a dream team in every way, and if anybody's going to beat the Scousers, it's these two. <laughs> Y'all are crazy in just seeing things. That was clearly it's the Summer Slam Arena. I don't know what any of you are talking about. Yep. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm. 
Yeah, this 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 uh, this new tag team has been about as dominant as the uh, as the flipping rats were. All done has got that synergy somehow. Turtle and turtle and rats work well together. Who knew? Turtle and rats. It reminds me of the nineteen eighties. <laughs> World class. But can anyone stop the Scousers? I mean, how long have they had those titles now? Oh, I don't know, a long time. They, they are they are dominant, dominant champions. And, and Hancock, just seemingly undefeatable, no matter what he turns his mind to. He is certainly solid, you can say that much. <laughs> he is solid Hancock to you. Muppet, who's your damn storyline? Well, none of them have come further since that storyline than Fugonomics, of course, who is now relaxing on a beach, uh, very happy with himself with Muppet's millions. <laughs> and God would rather be poor. <laughs> Oh, this is a title match worthy of the name on paper. I really hope it lives up to it, guys. This could be an absolute epic. Yeah. Tell your boss you're going to be late in tomorrow. We're in for one here. Well, I thought you meant because your wheels have been replaced by bricks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure all the Scousers could uh, cover the entire JFW universe. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we've we've seen we've seen the Nickerverse assemble. So <laughs> maybe could you imagine multiple Hancock's and Steve Martys out on the rob? Oh God! Wow, an, an entire city worth of of Scousers. That that's my worst nightmare, Jim. I'm glad that's only the thing of fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> George has lost the plot a bit there. Never mind. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. <laughs> they are the tag team champions. Hancock and Steve Moore T. The Red Army. Glorious. They've been just unbeatable, it seems, but... Uh... Can this new red hot tag team, you know, do what it takes? I don't know what it takes, but maybe they've got the answer. <laughs> well, the, the Ninja Turtles are, are literally unbeaten, aren't they? To date, this would be a first if the Scousers retain tonight. That's, That's true. That's a good yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, they've they come all the way through that tournament unscathed, huh? Mm. Three out of three. Oh my God, look at it. Hold on, back to his best. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Like, o Odon and Chunsa were putting in good performances as singles wrestlers, but they just weren't stringing the wins together. And that has seemingly turned around in the tag team department. Their experience as wrestlers, their experience as tag team wrestlers, all coming together, and they just seem to have a beautiful chemistry. Yeah, I mean, it's not really that surprising. Chunta made his name as a tag team, uh, you know, as a tag team wrestler, and then Odon has ne to my knowledge has never been in a tag team but he's never really gone next level since the uh the earliest of days in the jfw and uh maybe that was the missing puzzle piece for both these guys you know chunter wanted a more consistent partner and uh odont needed a partner at all yeah i do i do remember those very first days odont was a uh, was a man of fire but uh, but yeah he hasn't quite lived up to that since until now, if he wins tonight, he'll feel back on top of the world. Hancock turned things around a little bit here, working over the arm of Odont, but nothing to be overly worried about just yet. Might see a tag, though, to Steve Moddy. No big counter from Odont, and he's whipping him over to Chunter. Maybe they'll be the first to make the tag. No! Oh, my goodness, counter from Hancock. Maybe unwisely hits him on the shell. <laughs> I 
Oh, kicks him in the shell as well. That might have hurt uh, Hancock more than it did Odon, but it's given him time to tag Steve Money. Odon desperately trying to get to Chunter, and he just makes it. Oh, wow. I didn't think he was going to make it, but he did. And here comes the hot tag. Chunter in with a vengeance. Nice shining dragon there into that low kick, and Steve Marty doesn't know where he is right now. Well, Chunter needs to stay in control because uh, Hancock's right there on the apron, but Odon is really suffering on the outside right now. Oh, the golden walls of Chunterino! This is early! Oh, my goodness. We have seen some early taps! It's, oh, wow. Steve Marty powering out of that really quickly. That's very impressive. Many a man has fallen foul to that maneuver. Oh, Chunter better not accidentally go for a count-out strategy here. That will not win them the titles, even if it keeps their undefeated streak going. Of all the matches, the though, to get counted out in, you don't want it to be it during a, uh, a title match here, unless you're the, uh, <laughs> the champ, the current champs. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe Steve Motti just decides to stay down. Oh, wisely forced back into the ring by Chunter, and he's certainly got the best of him there. Oh, but he's going to let him tag. Oh, oh, Chunter. He was a little slow in the uptick there, and that is going to cost him Hancock in like a spitfire here. <laughs> Few collisions there, but uh, Hancock getting the best of it ultimately. Reverse of earlier where Steve Motti's now down and out on the outside and Odon ready to go if Chunter can get to him. Boy, howdy. Gets out of the way of the flying crossbody. Hancock recovering Oops. incredibly quickly, though. Step three is really working that leg. Yeah, is it, is it Steve Motti that applies a figure of four? There might be uh, some really, really good future thinking there by Hancock. Mm hmm. Oh, but he's not thinking anything anymore. Running Bulldog and cuts off the hot tag. Oh, boy. This. Chanter looking to finish him off there. Code breaker. Here comes Steve Muddy. He makes Steve it. Can Odot make him pay? Oh, no. <laughs> Steve Muddy. Quite, quite the opposite. <laughs> it certainly was. Man, not, not often you see someone break up the pin and wipe out the uh, opposition's tag team partner and Hancock in control of Chunter. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's all going the way of the Scousers. I think they've retained. Holy moly, Boy, what I think a performance. so. He's hanging on here for the pin. <sighs> wow. Chunter dug deep there with every fiber of his being determined to keep that undefeated streak going and the hopes of becoming the champions alive. But uh, this doesn't look good for the Ninja Turtles. I mean, it's asking an awful lot. Forming a tag team less than a month ago, and then three or four matches, and then you're in against like one of the uh, the winningest teams in pro wrestling history. Like, you, you know, you, oh, but showing a little little disrespect <laughs> there, Chunter. Again, it's not like these are two rookies here. They've been there and done that. I don't know how. I don't know how wise this was from Steve Motti taking it to the outside again. Chunter got the best of him last time, and he's got the best of him this time. Oh, oh no, oh, though, the spear. spear. Yeah, that spear might get him a count out win. That's it, really could. He's going to send him into oh. the ring pose. It's over. Yeah, it's the, 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 I mean, oh, wow. Close him back in. Is that a Un nine un count? Unbelievable levels of honesty from Steve Marty wanting to get it done properly. Is is Something this about... fake, Steve? Is this the imposter? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it might just be that being the champions for so long built up some actual pride in his ability and his partner's ability. They've got a reputation now. I don't know. A leopard, a, a leopard can't change his spots. A scouser can't. <laughs> Surely. Surely Scouser can't be honest. <laughs> you, you wouldn't think so. <laughs> Leopard changing his spot sure does sound like something that would happen in the JFW, though. <laughs> it does, yeah. <sighs> oh, having a little bit.
little bit of a party here, maybe celebrating a little too soon. Chunter keeps getting up to his feet, but it's not doing many good. Yeah, he can just about stand, but that's all he's got in him. He desperately needs to tag Odon. <laughs> oh, lovely counter. No, oh, he's maybe he the... doesn't. Are we going to get Not another code, code breaker? Here? But he really should be tagging. Oh, bust him open. Oh. He did. He rattled his head there. No, no. Buddy. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, thank goodness. Odon coming in and Hancock in a bad, bad way. <laughs> and Odon knows it. <laughs> yeah, Odon giving him a little bit too much time here. It is the uphill block. Do you know what? We could call it the cage breaker, right? Then, that, then that's more like the real name, right? That'd be good. Oh. Wow, actually, Hancock uh, not, still not responding yet. Really suffering. Oh, the spine oh, buster. And you know what that means. Oh. Whoa! It means the match, oh! it means the match is over. It means the, it means the old oh! Dunder Bomb is coming, but he didn't need it. What the hell? I did not expect New that. Wow. Out of nowhere with that with that spine buster, the Ninja Turtles have just dethroned the Scousers and won the two heads titles. Holy I mean, no. Hancock somehow kicked out of the code breaker on instinct, but he was busted open and probably concussed. So the Spine Buster finishing him off after that, and uh, Chunter did an awesome job of intercepting Steve Motte. And there we go, the undefeated streak does continue. Wow, look at these two, they are awesome. Incredible win by those two, it re really, really was. And folks, that is, uh, that is Claw exclusive action there. The two heads titles, the tag team division is now gonna be run by the Ninja Turtles. Holy howdy. Unbelievable win by this upstart tag team. Great job. Scousers aren't gone, though. I'm sure they'll be coming back around for those titles. Yeah, yeah. I mean, wow. That's just unbelievable. They burst onto the scene. What an amazing win for the Ninja Turtles. And, folks, you talk about exclusive uh, exclusive content to shows. The Plim Plom Pluser Weight Division always puts on a wild four-man or four four Four-way extreme elimination match. Don't know why I couldn't say that so easily. Uh, Four-way extreme elimination match coming up next. Plim Plom Plus away title. The Blue Bomber defending his title after winning it last month. Uh, it's shocking the world. Can he do it again? And who is he even facing? We've got a mystery card of opponents for him in a four-way extreme elimination match coming up next. Glorious. Oh, baby. I can't wait for this one. But I was going to say, Gorilla, Mega Man not exclusive to Friday Night Stand Firm if you can get your old Nez working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Billy, it's Moradam. Well, no surprise here. Moradam, the, the, the man, the, the goblin, the literal fucking goblin that Blue Bomber beat to win that title. Looks like he's gonna he get would absolutely love to be it. champion again at the same time as his uh, old tag team partner, Cocky. They have been making waves on Friday Night Stand Firm, just as they used to in the two-head championship on floor. They sure have, and that Wemdoke TLC match is coming up soon. I can't wait for that one. Cocky, Cocky has won matches like that before. You don't expect him to be good at him, but I think he's got as good a shot as anyone uh, in that one. Uh, no, lot this does have to end in the ring. Um, I was going to say, just like, try. <laughs> <laughs> the ring of a cat anus. Oh, and yep. here we go, folks. <laughs> Some would say I've been trying to force uh, force feed Tom Schniz into the Plim Plum Pooserweight Championship <laughs> run. I say he's the Friday night fuckboy, but it's Sunday night. And he's here for a fight, and I think he is not going to disappoint. <laughs> wow, I can't, can't imagine a showrunner force-feeding us uh, their favorite wrestler over and over again in a title scene that they don't deserve. That would be a first in the JFW, <laughs> disgraceful. I just want to go out. I can assure you that Tom Schnitz is not my favorite wrestler, but I think he is a, a special talent, 
and I do think as a as a is a one time SFL champion, he deserves the limelight. <laughs> Boy, howdy! Oh, and look at this. She, she's, she's under the 205 limit. It's Samich has burst on the scene undefeated since arriving. The destroyed the women's division, brought the intergender uh, uh, wrestling world into being here in the JFW at all, and now looking to win a title in a four-way extreme elimination match. Yeah, she, she might not be the champion going in, but it's hard to look past Um Samich for, uh, for the win here. I think she's got to be my favorite. Well, I'd say that if Tom Schniz weren't there. But again, <laughs> all this, man, all three of these guys have quick entrances. You gotta you love to see it. Yeah, it's, I tell you what, it's good. if anything, this is going to be hard for Morodam, right? His deadliest move will be less effective <laughs> against yeah. one third of the yeah, competitors. We'll see. we'll see if he even wants to line up against Um <laughs> Samich there. <laughs> Here we go. Proper entrance, finally. Oh, oh I realized the problem, Jim. It's because it's his championship entrance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew I just forgot to change it multiple times. <laughs> but glorious to have this back. There he is, the blue bomber. We've seen him tagging weirdly with Night Demon. They've had a ton of chemistry, but he's on his own in this one as he tries to uh, outlast the three other competitors and retain his Plim Plum Pluser Weight Championship. I, I got to admit, when, when I saw him win his, uh, his number one contenders match to get a title shot in the first place, I kind of thought he fluked it. My, my feelings were really low on Blue Bomber. I didn't think he had what it took. He has proven me wrong time and again. I'm a huge fan now. He's great. He's got a hell He's got a hell of a uh, move set. He really knows what he's doing. He just hasn't won. You know, he's struggled in the uh, in, in those multi-man matches, which is a tough place to be in the Flim Flum Bluserweight division because we do so many of them. And, uh, you know, at least in the elimination matches, if you can outlast, you can get it down to a one-on-one, -on -one, and that's where he excels. But... You gotta believe the three other competitors here are gonna try and knock him off early. Mm. And here we go, folks. The Plim Plom Pluser weight title, the biggest belt around the smallest waist <laughs> in professional wrestling. And for the first time ever in intergender title defense, And yeah, Mordam instantly shying away from Samich does not know what to do with half, half of his uh, ball shot related arsenal there. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Jesus. I thought he was about to eat it on those ropes. <laughs> yeah, so did I. What a shocker. Something tells me in real life he would have. <laughs> not that this is in real life, of course. Of course. Oh, look at this. Samich going to fly early. She has made some questionable decisions from the top rope before. Oh, God, there's this another time, one. <laughs> no, I mean, she did the damage that time. <laughs> and she's going to gonna try and get the first elimination. That would be, uh, that, that was a pretty hopeful pin there. <laughs> Big move. Oh, celebrating with Tom rolling away and going. Nope, Tom, Tom, Tom. Tom does have some uh, viewing problems with his mask. <laughs> um, I'm I'm so glad he's in this matchup. Wounds of Steel. Well, that was proven that she. Uh, I finally agree on something. Right? <laughs> I'm so much proven she uh she belongs with the Plim Plum Pluses with those top rope maneuvers. She's not just there because she fits the weight division. She is here to fly. Yeah. Yeah. Mordam just had her set up and then just moved on to go after Blue Bob. <laughs> Glorious. And Sam it says, uh, no thank you, I'm coming after you. Sometimes it's a good strategy to get the champ out early. <laughs> Poison Rana there by Tom Schniz, and he rolls out of the ring. <laughs> he still does <laughs> And another Poison Rana. He, I think Mordem may, maybe needs to start focusing on him sandwich here because it's just distracting him at this point. <laughs> There's no maneuvers that he does that are going to work on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, and here we go. Pin on Tom, just a one count again. Outside of the ring, Blue Bomber looking to do some uh, something vicious here to Moradam. Drops him on the barricade. Oops. Seems like no one wants to pair off in this match. That's usually not the way we see it when there's four people. Mm -hmm. but the, bra the brain worms are rife now when they're not pairing yeah, off. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, there we go. Mordam with that leg hook. And again, oh, oh sit down powerbomb by Tom Schmiz. Oh. Wow, clubbing God. blows by Um Sandwich. Clearly has the strength advantage over Mordam. Extends Mordam right out, uh, up and over the ropes there and pursues. Blue Bomber and Tom Schnitz have been going at it for a while in the ring here. And Tom in some trouble. Rolls out though, Jesus smart. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Try. Oh, God. <laughs> Nick, what the fuck? <laughs> June elimination at this point. Mardam's feeling it, but a little bit too long, maybe. No. No. It's never too long when you're talking about Tom Schnitz's recovery time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh! Right in the nutsack. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> but here comes Blue Bomber going after Mordam now. Maybe identifying he's uh, uh, on the hottest streak in this match. No. Grabs Tom Schnitz instead. Look out, more damn! Oh. And now everyone going after Blue Bomber. <laughs> Tommy Schnitz just killed himself with that DDT. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, he's over for the pin! <laughs> but he didn't hook a leg, so he couldn't hold him down there. Sandwich gonna do it properly, maybe. No, just a one count as well. Wearing down Blue Bomber though, making him kick out over and over again. And this will do it. Misses there with the drop kick in the corner. Mm. And everyone going after Blue Bomber right now. Oh, Sandwich seems the only one truly focused here. Might have a cheap one here on Tom Schnitz. Mordam just walking to the outside trying to figure out what to do. He's going after the champ. Yeah. Why does nobody want to fight Um Sandwich? What is going on? Yeah, no, I know. I would, I would be. If this were a video game, I'd be suspicious that maybe the mod isn't perfect. But <laughs> yes. uh, I don't think that's the case because this is real life. Well, let, let's just hope that if she makes the final two, somebody decides to actually fight yeah. her. <laughs> yeah. I think they clearly fight her, you know, and like the tag matches weren't a problem. Yeah, they just don't target with it when they've got a choice to do. Yeah. Oh, the pin on Blue Bomber gets a two count there. Yeah, I mean, they definitely have been hitting her. They just don't, like, continue doing moves to her. Yeah, yeah see, Mordem, <laughs> Mordem broke free and then went right after Blue Bomber. And that might be trouble for him oh, as God. she locks in. Locks in a sleeper on him, but he gets out of it. Yeah, the uh, the ex champ clinging on for dear life here. Oh. That might be it. I think so. That pop up German suplex. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Oh, oh, that's the word. Top rope springboard moonsault there, and crab hands to boot. <laughs> but she came up empty. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 
And now Moradam losing focus, and that's going to cost them here. Look at that, Herkin around a takedown. Samich now maybe thinking about that patented moonsault. Oh, I this think is what so. Plum Plumes are all about, baby. Woo! And there it is, and that's going to do it. Hangs on for the leg. That's got to be more damn done here. It's got to be. No. No, wow. two count kick out. No eliminations yet. This match has been going. Yeah, this is one of the uh, the longest lasting four-man elimination matches without a pin or a submission that I've ever seen. Uh -huh. oh. I mean, why, oh, look out on the outside, but Tom, it's not false count anywhere with the Plim Plum Plex. Can't hang on for the pin, and that might have saved Blue Bomber his title. Oh my oh, goodness, the spear. spear from Savage! Surely that's it now for Moradam, surely. Gotta be, she cut him in half. Oh my oh. goodness, man. Don't call him Shirley, because he just picked that. Well, that, that is why he's the ex-champion. That is why he used to be such a dominant two-heads champion. Yeah. These two, these four couldn't get further apart if they tried right now. <laughs> but that's why we always do these four-way elimination matches. They are fantastic with the Blim Blum losers every time. Look out, Tom Schniz into the sit-down powerbomb. And in the meantime, Um Savage takes out Moradam, and we are finally down to three. We sure are. Moradam eliminated first. That's not what you want to see. But he just clearly never had his head completely in the game on this one. Did not know how to handle Samich's offense. Lou Bomber and the Mask finally rejoin us, giving up on trying to find Night Demon's WrestleMania ring. He's destroyed. <laughs> oh, nice takedown there by Samich. And now Blue Bomber looks like he's going to be in a world of hurt here. Everyone's going after him. Finally, a fight breaking out between Tom Schniz. No, Schniz staying on the champ. He's been pretty much locked in on him since the start of the match. Yeah, they definitely are, LOD. Oh my goodness! Oh. Busts open the champion! The Bread Mask and Blue Bomber fed into the ring post. Um, Savage looks dead on to win this title, Gorilla. Yeah, it sure does. I mean, it helps that no one's attacking her. <laughs> like I say, going to be interesting to see uh, how it works out in the final two. Blue Bomber only just stirring now. The Bread Mask in a world of hurt. Oh, look out, oh, Tom! Man. Oh! Sounds reasonable. Wow, Blue Bomber really <laughs> suddenly going after <laughs> Um Samad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was, hang on, was Le Bread Mask eliminated? I didn't think he was. No, I don't think so. Oh, Blue Bomber's going to absolute town on Um Samad, making up for all the <laughs> previous ignoring. Fairly confident Jimmy Ventura has fallen asleep. That's true, we haven't had a yep in a while, Gorilla. <laughs> or, or is dead, we'll find out. After this match, if another one doesn't start, we might have problems, folks. Oh my goodness, the bread mask bust open, but look at this counter. He does hang on to the arm there, and Blue Bomber, oh my goodness. Blue Bomber is just in a rock, between a rock and a hard place here. But here comes Samich after Tom Schniz. Oh, Red maybe a pin there. Out. He's not He's staring, a Gorilla. Ton of damage, but he does kick out. Oh, he's back. Side Somehow suplex there by feet. Samich. Ooh. Blue Bomber taking the side suplex there, and now LeBret Mass trying to put him away, but oh, no, Um oh. Samich saves the jump. Oh. LeBret Mass dumped to the outside. Oh, he's going top rope. Look out. <laughs> oh, he took them both out. No, he missed them both. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I think I heard Jimmy stir. Yep, he, he was just getting a teen away. Don't worry about it. 
okay. I thought I thought you fell asleep. <laughs> no, no. At, at this time, Gorilla, in the middle of the UK night, that's that's not what Jimmy said. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Might be when he hasn't slept the night before. Yeah. No, I had I had about a couple of hours kind of thing before before the show. <laughs> I love that I was talking to you at my morning time and I thought you had woken up early and it turns out you just hadn't gone to bed yet. <laughs> yep. Um Sandwich saves the champion again from what I think was a yeah. blimp on plex. And oh, look at another, this! Another one of those and Tom might be in trouble here. Here's oh. the pin. That's... Got him. And it is. We're down to two here. Blue Bomber and Sandwich. And now, yeah, Blue Bomber doesn't have any any uh, hesitations going right after Sandwich now. Shoulder breaker. Uh, he, he's been fighting her for a while, to be honest. Ever since Maradon went, Blue Bomber's gone hard on Um Sandwich. Um Sandwich, though, subsequently saved him twice from the bread mask for some reason. And then they teamed up together to eliminate him. And here we go now, the final two. I don't know who's going to win, but they're going to be Blue. <laughs> <laughs> he really likes these stumps, doesn't he? <laughs> he sure does. Whoa. Sandwich has been dancing her way through this match. Needs to stay focused. Late pinfall here. Oh, oh I thought it was going to be it for a second. Wow, yeah. If she hadn't celebrated, she was the new champion. She might pay for that. Right, arm drag takedown from Blue Bomber. Look at this maneuver. Oh, wow. Into the power bomb there, and that could be it. New uh, champion retains. Ooh. No, kicks out. <laughs> yeah. The stumps were pretty effective. Oh, my God. What an Irish whip. Blue Bomber now sucking air. He is exhausted. This has gone on an age. It's no surprise. Oh, this might end it right here, right now. <laughs> oh, and here it is. Yeah, the rainbow cutter. Great finisher, and I think that's oh going to do it God. for Sandwich. What a performance. Wow. But no, wait a minute. He stunned himself, too. Oh, my He's God. He's slow to get the pin. Is it? Is it going to be enough here? And he's in for the pin. Is he going to retain? Oh. He's done it! Blue Bomber, he did put her out, and Blue Bomber retains after an incredible Fatal 4-Way Extreme Elimination match. What a win, what a retention, and Blue Bomber has now solidified himself two months in a row here as the top of the Plim Plum Pluserweight division. Yeah, what a champion, and uh, the first to get a pinfall on Um Samaj. How will she bounce back from this? I can't wait to see on Friday Night Stand Firm. Oh Absolutely. my god, the oh my goodness, <laughs> please! I think uh, Vecna might be uh, visiting Blue Bomber <laughs> later tonight. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I'm just gonna go throw up in my coffee mug. <laughs> Uh, what a retention there, Blue Bomber. <laughs> yeah, Night Demon celebrating there. <laughs> it's it's just it's fucking crying blood right now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. Dear. <laughs> wow. You thought it was well. easy being a superhero. <laughs> Folks, oh, next up, next up, my exhibition match that I booked. I've been waiting for this one. Of course, this was supposed to be an exhibition match with Bezel joining Friday Stand Firm. As we know, he's hopefully in the main event. We have no word on him yet after that savage attack backstage. But I had to book a new match into this spot, so I booked a, a, an ex, a, a, a Extreme Rules match. Jimmy, excuse me, Mr. Jims McMahon. <laughs> Versus Tony plays poorly. Boy, howdy. Oh, baby. I, I can't wait for this one, but i got to admit, I, I don't know if it can live up to Monday Night Claw's empty arena brawl between these two. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's been it's been simmering, but now it's reaching boiler point. Let's go to ringside. <laughs> yeah, no, this one's happening in the middle of the ring. 
Tony plays poorly. Extreme rules against Mr. Jim Smickman. <laughs> Amazing. Yabba do, it's Tony plays for it. Fresh off of fixing his computer, he's here tonight <laughs> to compete in the JFW against the man who runs the whole shebang, Mr. Jim McMahon. Well, runs it all on claw into the ground. <laughs> Give up sometime. It's one of the proudest things I've done in my life is making that logo. <laughs> it's good though, isn't it? <laughs> this is not the main event. Supposedly, our main event is going to be uh, Peppered Biscuits versus Bezel, but no word on Bezel's condition. We know Peppered Biscuits is up for the match, but we'll see what happens for the Extra Arms Belt Championship. And following this match, we've got the Wemmed Up Championship, which is going to be a fatal forward between Cocky, Fofo, Skuramezzo, and Flicky Flack. Indeed, so a marathon of a show tonight, folks, but uh, we're here for it. It's the biggest show of the summer. There he is, not looking like he's ready to wrestle. He's just coming out in a suit. <laughs> Well, not enough for him to just run the show. He has to wrestle to earn even more hush money. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out that Jimmy did indeed cost Tony plays poorly. Last pay-per-view, lifting that belt or having it lifted out of reach. So Tony plays poorly once again, not a champion, but now he finally gets to get his revenge. Here we go, folks. One on one action, extreme rules. Then wait. wait. Wait a second. That's. Is that. It can't be. It can't be. No. It, surely not. No way. No, no it is. way. It's Teresa Mame. <laughs> Teresa Mame is in the arena. I haven't seen her in a while. <laughs> Not sure what Teresa Mame is doing in the arena right now, but there she is, and she is fired up. Again, not dressed to wrestle, but looks like, uh, well, looks like something. Must be the most missed JFW superstar in history. She's just celebrating that she's no longer the biggest laughing stock of uh, British uh, PMs. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, she's definitely been missed in the UK, and I don't think anyone expected that. <laughs> oh boy howdy let's see what this is all about i guess i mean technically i signed my own uh signed my own death warrant here it's uh it is extreme rules and oh my goodness i think i i think we've got a handicap match here folks i don't think tony gives a shit about it <laughs> It is. It's Teresa Mame and Mr. Jim McMahon against Tony Plays Poorly. Oh, my God. To, to be fair, Tony Plays Poorly does have a specialty in handicap matches. <laughs> it does, yeah. Um, unfortunately, Mr. Whiskey Richard, I don't think we could uh, we could afford to uh, have him on our roster with uh, with his, uh, his uh, desire to decorate the locker room, as it were. <laughs> Wow, not not even a tag handicap. Jim McMahon's really pulled the wool over the eyes of Tony once again here. Hey, why not, right? No DQ, extreme rules. Why not? Why not bring in anyone you can? Yeah, I guess I got outplayed by Mr. Jim McMahon in this one again. I don't really have a stake in this one. I just didn't like what he did. Uh, oh my God, spitting blood! <laughs> I didn't like how he handled uh, that trade non-trade for Mrs. Wanger and uh, rescinding bezel from from my options so i wanted to just get a little comeuppance and i know tony plays poorly wanted to get his hand on his uh monday night claw boss <laughs> jim's milking tony for everything he's worth gonna get in all the viewerships from him gonna sell all the merch but never gonna let him achieve anything more in the jfw <laughs> 
Exactly, exactly, Skrull. That was that was the thinking behind it. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> oh, a bit of miscommunication then. Mr. Jim's hitting Theresa May. Well, this, uh, we could go to double count out here. Tony could get a very honorable draw. Oh my god, that it wouldn't be bet against him. embarrassing in a two-on-one handicap match. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Jims doesn't want to. He knows he's got the upper hand here. He doesn't want to get counted out. Oh, Jims can throw a clothesline. <laughs> yep. Of course, uh, Mr. Jims McMahon, not part of the wellness program of the... JFW, so he is <laughs> roided up the he's eyeballs. He's an executive. He's <laughs> yeah. an executive. He doesn't need the performance uh, qualifications. Indeed. But technically, Tony plays poorly. He is a part timer, having taken a break, so uh, he he may also be exempt. <laughs> Maybe. I don't think Tony plays poorly would ever put that poison in his body. No, he's too pure, isn't he? Well, he definitely hadn't been taking anything when he first came back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, wow, Theresa M straight in. <laughs> Lord, holy shit. Don't he plays purely? <laughs> <laughs> oh, He's taking a beating, but he just won't give up. Yeah. Only sometimes. One of those sometimes probably will happen in a while, but uh, he's determined to keep going as long as humanly possible. Oh, well, he, he was might have been going for the, the stunner. Stun yeah. He was, a, he was about to stun former Prime Minister of England, <laughs> <laughs> no. Theresa May. No, this is Theresa May. This is a totally different person from Theresa May. Just, just, I just, just thought, I thought this was a nom de guerre for her. Uh, no, no, it's not any 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 similarities to people alive or <laughs> alive or not is purely coincidental and not intentional. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy getting on his high crusher about uh, Theresa Mame's identity. Hey! <laughs> oh, they're getting closer now. Two count by Theresa. <laughs> people alive or undead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mr. Jim Smith, man. Brutal. Oh my god, die all pretty! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that could be it! He's taken one hell of a beating! Oh my goodness, Tony, just give up. He should try yeah. and go for a weapon here. Takes a bit more than that to put Tony plays poorly away. Tony's so honest and pure, he won't even go for a weapon in an Extreme Rules match. Oh no, oh no. Just give up, Tony. Stay down, oh, it's buddy. It's just relentless, isn't it? I think he's never going to give up with Theresa May lying on top of him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, not oh my again. god, he's just teeing off on him now. <laughs> like, if you value if, loving he, this. If, if Jim's valued him that much as his number one pick, you'd think you wouldn't want to kill him. <laughs> oh, what a maneuver there. Oh, fantastic splash. I, I don't know if you need Tony alive to sell the merchandise, to be honest, Gorilla. It's <laughs> a good point. Yeah. yeah, it's true, it might go up in value. <laughs> Tony, why is he going for the uh, the count out strategy again? <sighs> oh my word! What? <laughs> hasn't lost a step. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh no! Oh! Well, well, Jim's was gonna fly, probably better than he didn't. Oh my god! What oh, it's gonna be a 
Brexit suplex! The Brexit suplex. <laughs> oh, wow, it took out Jims! She wants the glory for herself! Look at that from Theresa Mame. Strong and stable, if ever a JFW superstar was. Oh, no, Jims takes oh, out! Jim takes her out! <laughs> wow. And here we go. Here's the pin. This might be it. Oh, oh my now he goodness. Kicks out again. Tell him, what are you doing? <laughs> Just refuse to be the lose. last time now. Virtually a corpse. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh no. And oh, no. Rep. Come on. Right there. Stop this. This is ridiculous. I guess the ref's on flipping Jimsy's payroll. <laughs> I guess he is. What on Tony, earth? Tony, stop kicking out. Oh, my good lord. Oh, he doesn't oh, even dude, know where he is. He's swinging He can't even yeah. see with the blood in his eyes now. Oh, God. What? <laughs> Shades what? of Night Demon there. No, he oh, countered out. Oh, look at this. Oh, Tony. Oh, Tony getting a, getting a, uh, another shot in on Mr. James McMahon, and the pin Instant. instantly broken up. <laughs> well, this is why uh, Jim brought Theresa Mame out. <laughs> yeah. He'd have been would screwed have been a short one order without her. Oh, yeah, 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 for oh, sure. Oh, my goodness, Stunner! Well, she's Theresa staggered! Mame, she's, she's staggered! Stunner! Stunner! He's got him! Oh, she's back! She's back! Oh, man. I was so close. Oh, my goodness. Tony almost had it, but now look out! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the power. She's a tough old bird, is Theresa, man. <laughs> Going right back after her gyms. And surely now Tony has a real shot here. He has weathered the storm. Uh, too much, though. Two on one. <laughs> Teresa getting a bit of revenge on Jims at the same time. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what a maneuver. Well, folks, we're TV 14 now. <laughs> though breaks it up with the ropes holy shit i didn't remember this i didn't think this match would be that long <laughs> oh no goodness, they've killed him that might be it Jim's sure. getting Look the at pin there. Man, taking the pin away from Teresa mame <laughs> and that is it oh my god well don't cross the boss i guess that really backfired on me but luckily it was tony taking the damage <laughs> Yeah. Well, folks, well, we still have two matches left. We know this is a very long show. Thanks for bearing with us in this one. I know I'm flagging. <laughs> but next up, Wem Dope Championship match, four way TLC match. Yeah, an all well, stunned film well special. Worth Hanging in, man. The adrenaline's going to be pumping for this next one. I, I think we might well get a new champion. How on earth does Cocky defend against these three? That's a good point. TLC as well makes it even harder, doesn't it? There's no champion's advantage or anything. It's, you know, it's, yeah, it's going to be real tough for Cocky. Gentleman, very happy with Theresa Mame, and uh, <laughs> might well he be. She did a wonderful job. No way he wins that without her. <laughs> Unlike the rest oh, of her career. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There you go. What a match. So yeah. This is it. We've already built it up, haven't we? Wem Dope Championship is uh Yeah, let's just get something. it going, baby. Yeah. Wem Dope title on the line, Cocky versus Skuro versus Fall Force versus Flicky.
Oh, what an entrance. What an entrance indeed. I don't know what rubs it in more than it's the Friday Night Stand Firm, boys. It's got to be watching them come out for a second time tonight. <laughs> well, they, they had an abridged entrance the first time. Believe me, I thought of that. <laughs> well, I'd say that this is the entire budget of the show once again spent on Skuro, but after that, the opening scenes today, I don't think I can say that. The winner, 358 himself. Uh, don't believe he's ever held the Wem Dope Championship. Of course, the Wem Dope title modeled after the title uh, granted to uh, SFL champions uh, and something he knows a thing or three about. Would love to climb up that ladder and win the Wem Dope Championship. Of course he hasn't won it. Uh, Gorilla Mezzo. Skura Mezzo famously had no title his entire JFW career until very briefly taking the extra arms belt championship. Couldn't even hold on to that for more than a day. Yeah, I wonder what happened there. Oh gosh. Well, here's my pick. Here, here's my pick to not win it, but he's one of the freshest guys in the and ring, so you never know. If we could not talk about Fort Force being fresh, I would appreciate it. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, those hips are really working it tonight. Yeah, yeah. All importantly, made the save earlier in the night, uh, or prevented the save, rather, so that uh, they Friday night Stanford boys would be the contenders. And he has been the champion before. I wouldn't be too surprised to see him walk away champion. Well, oh, Flicky's out next. I'm going to go pee. This was a good moment to realize I was hungry and get something to eat. I managed to miss that entrance. Fantastic. <laughs> I'll play it, Jim. Oh, I should have missed this one too. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is an awesome force, isn't he? He has gone through so many JFW superstars in the past. He has been a dominant tag team champion. And I wouldn't be surprised if tonight he became our WEMDOP champion. Took a lot of punishment though, didn't he, in the previous match? Uh, in stark contrast yeah. to Fault Force. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're right, Jim. Skuro and Flicky took an awful lot of damage. But yeah, Pocky and Fault Force completely fresh. I guess they've got to be the favorites, one of those two. No champion's advantage, though, as you like to say, Jim. Yeah, this is going to be really difficult to win. Normally you're 50 50% 50 at best to beat him, <laughs> but now <laughs> in a fatal four way, your chance of winning drastic go down. I gotta say, uh, I don't know what I did right in my life, but I pee in the exact amount of time it takes Flicky Flack to make his boring ass entrance. <laughs> and in 10 years' time, it'll be more like Thor's. <laughs> 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 well, here he is. Make no two ways about it. He is deservedly the champion, just as he used to be deservedly the two edge champion. And uh, yeah, Cocky really could somehow beat these three behemoths. Especially as the only one that has probably taken as little damage as him tonight is Fault Force. Hanging above the ring, Pepper Biscuits. It's a TLC match. Yeah, being a, a bit of a tease. Us not getting to see the beauty of the Wemdo Championship just yet. 
That's just answering your question, man. <laughs> he is a very long forearm. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Look, it is SummerSlam, and, and nobody's more prepared than Cocky for summer. He's got, he's got his, he's got his sunscreen on his nose, hasn't he? He's, 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 he's equipped. Here we go. Whoa. Look at that thing of beauty. Unbelievable piece of art. I'm not going to lie, I'm so jealous that once again, Monday Night Claw is not getting the Wemdup Championship. Yeah. You guys yeah. will get there eventually. You're up and comers. <laughs> what is that stain on Cocky's trunk? Oh, God. Do you really want to know? <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> we are underway, folks. Again, all you got to do to win this one is climb up a ladder and unhinge a title. And when you see these people try to do that, you'll realize how difficult that is. <laughs> Isn't that how Cocky won the title in the first place? Uh, yeah, might have been. Yeah, because it was it was a, it was a, just a ladder match. But yes. Oh, Scrow unceremoniously dumped outside by Flicky, and he's going to try and climb a table to get to the belt. He might just be tall enough. Well, table set up in the middle of the ring. You don't see them used often in the TLC matches. Looks like this one is uh, no different. Oh, nice power though by Skuro. And now maybe walking him over. Yeah, walking him over to the table. Oh no, Flicky counters him. Side of the ring, nice swinging neck breaker on fault force here. Skuro, Skuro being set oh, up on that table. Flicky. Oh no! Oh Flicky. no! Oh my oh, god! <laughs> Skuro spine busted right through the table. He jumps right back up to eat a jackknife power. Ball. Oh my god, Flicky! Wow. Flicky treating Skuro like he killed his favorite player. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, no! It's a buckle bomb there, but yeah, Skuro oh, not god. looking good in this one. Yeah, I think we could rule out Skuro, a three-man now. Maybe. Well, it's still early. Fourth going to town on the champion. Yeah, Fall Force loves going down on champions, from what I'm told. Oh, reversal by Cocky. Look at the strength. Often deceiving, but if you've seen his workout videos, you won't be that surprised. Now, Flicky, oh, Flicky with the big boot to Cocky. Flicky has been dominant in this one this early. He has, but if he doesn't go and get some ladders, it's not going to matter. And somehow, Skuro fighting back from all the damage he took, but Skuro also not going for any ladders. No one seems to want a ladder at this stage. Nice leg drop by Cocky. Cocky looking maybe for a table. Yeah, what? another table. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Skuro again. Yeah, this looks like it's going to go poorly for him. No, nope. let's pick it up and put it down, baby. The classic, the classic JFW technique. Oh, and here we go. Faulty's going for the ladders. Faulty is going for the ladder. Oh, look out, though. Cocky. Oh, my goodness. Top rope no. suspended DDT and then laddered oh. to the knees. That is oh, not man. looking good for the champion retaining. Oh, power slammed onto Cocky and <laughs> Fall Force full just force. It's clearing everyone out with this force. ladder. Oh my goodness, how did Flicky just stand up from a ladder oh, shot? Oh my god. He doesn't set up the ladders, Flicky, though. No. no, no, Flicky. Oh, he had it. He definitely had it. Oh, now Cocky, and now Cocky the only man with a plan here, it looks like. Nope, maybe not. His plan was oh, to get God. punched in the oh, face and have no. ladders drop on his head. <laughs> <laughs> finally, Flicky Flack has set up the ladder. No one to stop him Gotta whatsoever. Be. Yeah. But Gotta not be so sure-footed. Oh, well, baby. Skirt, maybe Skirt might be able to get in there. This might be all over. Gotta be. Oh, my goodness. Skirt getting a oh. something. Every flippin' time. <laughs> Skuro getting another ladder for some reason. <laughs> oh, wow, setting it up across. Yeah. Oh, and he's trying to stop the... him now. He's trying. Yep. Took, took him a bit of time there. Oh, he's not oh, trying. He's taunting. 
He I went did, through a I table over there. Yeah, yeah, go easy on him. Oh, right, here we go, flicky and faulty. Oh, oh, God. Oh, 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 God, Skuro took a bad fall there. Fall oh, oh, over. Oh, oh, my oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my 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 God. And he put him through the ladder on the outside. That's going to spell disaster for Fall Forest. Incredible. Wow! Flicky Flack is earning this web dope title. He's making the most of his opportunity, but Skuro here looking to be the sport. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Flat. If Flicky doesn't win now, I riot. <laughs> oh my god. My Somehow, Paul falls back How on his feet. He's still on his feet. <laughs> He's powered by bacon, grease, and ham. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, oh, no. hey, we, we oh, Flicky, fight. turn around. Flicky, This Flicky. might be the first match. No, he missed. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, this might be the first match where we've had a T, an L, and a C all connect. <laughs> oh, my God. Cocky just beasting faulty with the ladders. Yeah. Blindsided by Skuro. Oh, here we go, though. Skuro, the only one standing here. That ladder's going suspiciously far away from the center of the ring, though. <laughs> oh, Faulty having a dance. <laughs> oh, he got it. He did get it. And now Skrub may be looking for some table revenge. Oh, man. No. Oh, boy. The ladders are set up. They're just waiting for one person to get dominant. Yeah, Skiro standing tall here sends. Oh, he no. sends Full Force oh. up and over. There's no one to stop him. Flicky or Cocky just barely stirring now. Skiro at the top of the ladder. Hands on the ladder. Here we go. Here comes the champ. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Skiro gets the best of him. And here comes Flicky, though. Flicky going after the wrong person here. Skiro's got it. Is Flicky going to stop him? <laughs> Flicky, what are you doing, it. Flicky? Flicky's watching. Skuro's won it. He's won it. He's won it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. And it still can't get it off. Oh, my God. That was so close. And Skuro takes the big tumble. Thought he had it. <laughs> oh, there goes Full Falls. It's just cocky and Flicky. Just punches through the ladder. <laughs> Flicky oh, is on the ladder. This match. Well, this is Flicky, surely. He has earned this a hundred times over. Come on, Flicky, set up those ladders. You can do it, Flicky. I believe in you. No, okay, now. <laughs> you are a bad dude. <laughs> oh, Fault Force stone, unfortunately. Yeah, but Fault Force's uh, reaction times have always been a bit slow here. Oh. Uh, not this time, though. Maybe. Are they going to oh, work Flicky. together really? on Flicky? Really? Flicky! Flicky oh. hanging by a thread here and pulled off and powerbombed down. Pulled the match off. continues. Oh, Cocky sends full force flying. It's just Cocky. Cocky is a real shot here, a real shot. I don't see Skuro at all. No, where, Skuro hasn't yeah, stood for ages, is, yeah. He got sent to the A&E &E or something. He isn't even in the building right now. No one there to, oh, there he is. Skuro's on his feet. Cocky's oh. up the ladder. Flicky oh on his God. feet. And oh Skuro gets in at the last second. And everyone's in the ring now. Can you believe it? Unbelievable. Oh, no, Flicky. <laughs> Flicky going to take another Not spill again. here, I think. <laughs> Every flipping time he gets up there, two people gang up to get rid of him. Oh, Skuro clearing the ring. Oh, wow. Just he had gotta so get long that to ladder. recover. No one's moving. This surely has to it's be done. it. It's done. It's done. And here we go. Skuro going up the ladder. How is Flicky stood up again? <laughs> you know, he can't do it. He can't do it alone. This is Skuro. Skuro's got it. He's got it. Two times the charm here. No, Flicky can't push him over. Faulty's going to have to help him. Oh, my oh. goodness. And Skuro hanging and pulled off into the electric chair drop. 
Thought he had it there too. That's two close yes. calls for Skuro. Look, he's going. Look, he's... No. Oh! Come on, Flicky. Come on. He took so much punishment earlier tonight as well. Yeah. Oh, forced his strategy of being the freshman. Oh, but Cocky with the chair. The chump. <laughs> the chump is in the ring. And here we go. Moving Cocky on. just watching him. And now goes up, waiting till he wasn't defended. Going up and hammers away at his gut here. Oh, oh shit! Oh no. Oh, oh, no. oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Fucking... White noise oh, from the top of the ladder, and Skuro stands to benefit. Pop up power bump! Oh boy! Oh, the and now it's down to Skuro and fall force. Oh, chalk out! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh good no, lord! Not this. No! Anything but this. Not like this. Oh, God. Not That's like Skuro. this. Oh, no! good lord, no. <laughs> Somebody wake the fuck up. Oh, no. Boss, oh, come on, Kaki. All right, they're up, they're up, they're Get up. Come on, up. guys. Not for anything that fuck this. Kaki doesn't see him up the ladder. Oh, no. He didn't see him up the ladder. Oh, no, Kaki. Oh, Kaki just noticed him. Now it's too late. Boss oh, versus done it. Oh, oh Boss is the new weapon <laughs> champion. Oh, my God. <laughs> the big ham has oh done it! Oh my god. I hate to say it, but his strategy earlier of not tagging in yeah. pays off. He took some big damage. He got dropped through that table. and it, Or excuse me, through that ladder. He got sandwiched through it by, by Flicky. And yeah, still had enough to recover. Get this choke slam on Skuro. Wow. And that's that. Unbelievable. That the only time he climbed the ladder in the entire map. It is, yeah. Yeah, 100% Look at that efficiency. greasy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, tell me about it, Night Demon. All right, well, I don't know if we're going to have this match or not. No word on Bezel yet. PV is certainly good to go. Let's get to ringside and see what we've got here. All right, let's go. This is your main event, folks. Here we go. Come on, Basil. Is he going to come out? I don't think he's coming. Come, come on, on, Basil. You can oh, do it. No. Oh, no. Disgusting jumping in backstage earlier. Oh, Father no. Creator, wake up. You are needed. Entire outer skin will be like this. It's titanium, laminated with Kevlar. Go ahead, shake his hand. Come here, Arthur. Where are you going? Oh! It's got a hell of a grip. It's 400 foot pounds. He could crush every bone in your hand. All right, attach it to his shoulder. I like that. You're gonna be a bad motherfucker. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's for you. That's for you. Go, Robo. Oh my goodness. That's Bezel's music. And there he is, it's Robo Bezel. Bezel coming back from the dead and here to wage war against Pepper Biscuits. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Incredible. Unbelievable stuff. Bezel can't put him down, folks. He's got a win over PB. Can he get another one tonight here? Aided by some new uh, machinery, as it were. <laughs> well, Robo I am. Bezel. I am Peter welling up at his uh, at his return. <laughs> this might just be what's needed to finally strip Pepper Biscuit of the title. That was fucking excellent, Rick. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right, Bezel, how the hell the hell did Santa know that? That's incredible. <laughs> but is it going to be enough? I mean, Peppered Biscuits is a different animal in a main event at a pay-per-view with the title on the line than he is in a nothing claw match on a Monday night. That's true, yeah. Maybe he was just taking it easy uh, earlier. I mean, he devastated Bezel backstage, didn't he? he nearly killed the guy. Maybe he did kill him. So, yeah. This is a tough ask for even Robo Bezel. What has Pepper Biscuit done? <laughs> yeah, Penemu, that would be great, but unfortunately we can't we can't upload anything in order. 2K19. <laughs> Did want to do the Robo one, to be honest. <laughs> and here we go, folks. Your main event for the Extra Arms Belt Championship. Oh, well, all the power on display by those uh, uh, cybernetic attachments doesn't seem to be enough to outpower Peppered Biscuits. No. Well, let's hope it's reducing some of the damage it gives out. Oh, that wasn't bad. Oddly uh, technical masterclass so far between a cyborg and an undead yeah. walking monster. <laughs> and just waiting to see Bezel get going. Obviously, he's got to get used to his no new... Uh, New attachments oh, well, here. A leg press to make Tony proud there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. Going to try and break that arm. Yeah, he's still got some of the old classic bezel maneuvers that got him this far. Got him the title shot in the first place. Wow, what a maneuver. He wrestled an absolutely perfect match to beat maybe an unexpected Pepper Biscuit. Pepper Biscuit trying to get out ahead of earlier on with that backstage brawl but uh what has he done he might have made things even harder for himself yeah it looks like it doesn't it the power of robo bezel but he's dealing with it so far pepper biscuit another dominant yeah. performance I mean, no way pepper biscuits could assume that this was the one jfw arena uh <laughs> that had a uh, cybernetics lab in the back of it that was uh, on call on a <laughs> sunday evening you know <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty unbelievable. Pe yeah. Pepper Biscuit needs to play more XCOM. <laughs> <laughs> Bezel kicking out here after the big slam or the big grab press slam. That is simply not pretty, pretty true. even so far the back and forth, but that is not how Bezel beat Pepper Biscuit the other night. It was a very Ooh. long, one sided match where he wore him down. But those running kicks are a good way to knock the champ out if he can be knocked out at all. Two of them in quick succession. And now Bezel's got the upper hand as he stomps away. And look at this. Going to pin him right in the middle of the ring, maybe. No, he's going to keep working that arm. Yeah, he's making good use of the legs, isn't he? His robo legs. <laughs> Certainly he is. I hope he's got a plan for that arm later. If he gets a nice, nice arm lock in or something, might even get Pepper Biscuit to tap, as unthinkable as that is. Yeah. Well, he's trying the submission on the opposite arm, so we're off to a bad start there. Really. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, interconnecting nerves there, Gorilla. Oh, yeah, wow. I'm not sure which arm matters, to be honest. I, th I think if you work, you can work over the left arm all match and then tap them out on the right arm. I think that's how, how it works, right? Oh, look at this, though. Doesn't hang on for a pin, but a beautiful suplex there. And oh, no. Here comes Phoebe, though. Missing wildly with that stomp. Mm -hmm. Clearly his balance thrown off by the injured trying, arm. Trying to detach the cybernetics. Yep. Rip it right yeah, off Yeah, Bezel skull. might be able to hold his own power-wise now, but he's certainly not outpowering Pepper Biscuit, is he? Pepper Biscuit's still an absolute force. <laughs> oh, brain buster. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's an angle. <laughs> Isn't it just? Oof. Bizarre. That would cut down on speed and agility, Randy Tanner. <laughs> Look at the oh! big in the corner there. Oh, oh no, my god! Face. Oh, oh my goodness, I don't know if Pepper Biscuits breathes, but I kind of hope he doesn't right now after oh. he takes that. Oh god! Oh, that might, oh, that that might turn the match! He I was part of what stopping him up the other day. That could be it! <laughs> oh, oh just the two cool. count, but it was a pretty close one. Bezel can't believe it. <laughs> we, we might be just one teabag driver away from having a new extra arms belt champion. Boy, howdy. The bezel bomb. Oof. The oh, no. Or this, though. Pepper Biscuits might not uh, have much patience for uh, any more robo bezel antics. Look at the, oh, look at the power oh, there. No. I am told the cybernetics add about 1,400 pounds to bezel's weight. <laughs> Yeah, we, we've seen Pepper Biscuit doing this to Goliath Games. This could be it. No. Oh, two count kick out again. Bezel stays in it. Excuse me, Robo Bezel. I think Human Bezel would have, would would have been done, but yeah, Robo Bezel. Yeah. Stays Robo in. Bezel able to power through, and here comes the comeback by him. Oh. -ho. Still working those limbs absolutely wonderfully. Oh, the Benzai oh, drop! <laughs> oh, the Benzai drop. Excuse me, not the bezel bomb. He's going! Oh, oh. Oh. I thought he had him there. Fans are going absolutely crazy with bezel. Bezel's <laughs> loving it. He feels like he's so close oh, to this no. and do it. Bezel from the top rope, you don't see this often. Maybe going to make use of that machinery. Oh, shit. Oh, he does! Drives that cybernetic helmet into the heart. A peppered biscuit, and now he might know. <laughs> no. BB wants more. He might know and something. If this, yeah. And if and if this wasn't enough to put PB down, what possibly is? Do we just retire the title on Monday Night Claw at this point? Yeah, it's a good. It's a good show. We, we, yeah, we might just have to invent a new championship that everyone else contends for, and just let Pepper you, Biscuit walk around I, with this one. I mean, I guess if you guys could ever win the Wem Dope title, that would be nice for you, but didn't seem to happen yet again. Mm -hmm. And now PB just staring him down, trying to figure out what to do. Doesn't seem to have any interest in ending this match. Yeah, I, I'm not going to pretend that I'm any longer jealous that you guys have to watch uh, Fault Force defend that every yeah. week. <laughs> yeah, you make a valid point. I can't really argue against that one. Oh, and there it is, the running power slam, and this is a disaster oh, peppered biscuits wins again robo bezel not enough to it. overthrow him oh my Wait god a oh. that's jimmy Whoa. fantastic oh. no way <laughs> he can't think the bezel have softened him up enough no he's he, he's got to be concussed he's what's he thinking he's ca he's cashing in He's cashing in after everything that he took earlier. No Come way. On, Jimmy. Oh, no, no you way. idiot. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Goes for the low <laughs> kick right off the bat and sends him into the corner. He's got to end this real fast because if Pepper Biscuits gets off his back heel. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, no. Jim might have, might, have, might, have, might have thrown this one. <laughs> oh, Jim. Pepper Biscuit just took a stink face and a teabag driver. There is no doubt he is not 100% right now. And don't forget the backstage brawl. That definitely took something out of PB, too. Yeah. I'm glad they managed to clear up the cut on Jim. Can't tell where that injury was anymore. So hopefully okay on that front. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Man. Oh, man. oh, Jim. Jim is regretting this decision. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, he didn't want to have to go through Night Demon to get uh, JBG's title, I guess. But surely this isn't better. <laughs> no. Oh god, it looked like he broke his arm. <laughs> I know. Well, that did save him that one match, didn't it? <laughs> it did, yeah. Robo Jim coming up. <laughs> oh gosh. At, at this point, I think he should have cashed in on Blue Bomber. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> he could now. Oh, oh Jim! Oh, oh no. my goodness, Jim! Oh no. PB! In a history. 
Peavy <laughs> won the count out! Peavy wants to fucking punish him for this decision. In a life full of bad decisions, this may be Jimmy Fantastic's worst. <laughs> <laughs> But could that be a bad decision for Pepper Biscuits? He had the count out win, but he we, went we back out seen, to We have seen two pain. superstars break off the count out win earlier, and both of them subsequently lost. Steve Motti could have had the count out win. He didn't take it. He lost his title. Goliath Games had it. He made the tag instead. Is this wow. three for three? Well, it doesn't really look like it, to be completely honest. But PB has wrestled technically two other matches tonight. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh, Jim. Oh, my good Lord. Oh, this is a no. massacre. <laughs> Although I will, you know, I don't. I don't want to give anyone false hope, any of the Jimmy Fantastic fans out there, but isn't this how he just wins about every match he's ever had? <laughs> that is true. I guess he's not wrestling Skuro, though. He's wrestling Pepper Biscuit. Yeah, Pepper bit Biscuit. Bit of a different is, animal. Yeah, a little, a little bit of a cut above, I think. I, I agree, oh, but my good Lord. Pepper Biscuit's been through so much tonight. One Jim Bottom might do it, but I don't <laughs> think we're going to see one Jim Bottom. No, no I don't think so. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, good night, sweet prince. Oh. Good night, JFW Universe. Yeah, well, Monday Night Claw title hopes, I guess. Oh, oh he kicked out! Somehow oh. he kicked out! <laughs> How does Jimmy do that? <laughs> Maybe he's wishing he didn't yeah. know. Yeah, also, like why did Jimmy do that? like that episode of The Simpsons where, the, where Homer starts boxing. Oh, dear. Oh, my oh God. My God. <laughs> <laughs> he did that once to Night Demon and it actually ripped his head off. So, Jimmy, very lucky to be alive right now. Oh, no. He, he's, he's found that wound and he's oh reopened God, it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The brain buster is <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Flip me, guys. Stop the damn man. This might, and this might actually be the worst money in the ass, money in the bank, money in the anything cash in of all time. <laughs> yeah. This is making Mr. Kennedy look like a good briefcase holder. Yeah. Well, here he comes, though, trying to come back desperately. Clothesline after clothesline. He does get PB down. Oh, oh, that, we've Surely seen that not. in matches before, so Surely no not. way. No way. Oh, my goodness. No. He can't no. possibly. No. <laughs> oh, for just a moment, I thought maybe. No, there's no way this match is ending with anything short of a dead gym or a gym bottom. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my well, goodness. Jim speak bottom. of the devil. Has he got the champ? Has he got the gym bottom? He's, He's got the gym bottom. He's done it. Pin. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Jimmy Fantastic. Is your new extra arms belt champion? Holy crap! <laughs> oh my I god! I can't believe it. Somebody's oh actually taken it off Pepper Biscuit. What a hero! Can you believe it? Look at this. All this done to PB, and he still only just lost. Technically, three matches in one night to drop the title, but he finally dropped it, and it was the money in the ass cash in that did it. You won't tell from any of these highlights, but Jimmy Fantastic did win the match. <laughs> <laughs> the classic. I, I love stuff. the classics, Gorilla. And that sure was one. Jimmy beat into a pulp, into Jim Bottom victory. Well, whatever, whatever the case, he's still standing and he's hoisting that title on high. He is the, the name at the top of Monday Night Claw. Once again, Jimmy Fantastic, your new Extra Arms Belt Champion. Unbelievable. Drink it in, folks. You won't see that often. PB down and out to Jimmy Fantastic. And what does that mean? Yeah, unbelievable stuff. What does that mean for Monday Night Claw? But, folks, a lot of unanswered questions coming up in the coming weeks of both Monday Night Claw and Friday Stand Firm. 
As always, my name is Grill Mezzo. Thank you so much for having me, and thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, Rick Schiavone, what a night it has been. Oh, so worth coming, Skuro, Gorilla. Thank you very, very much for having me, you and Jim. Oh, my goodness me. What a front row seat to what a show, and I can't believe these scenes. Jimmy Fantastic is the extra arms belt champion. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievably glorious. What can, what can you say? I can't, I can't believe it went so bad, then so well. Thank you so much, everybody, um, for watching. And uh, thanks, Gorilla and Rick. And uh, yeah, stay fantastic.